Hello there, guys and gals! The Welsh are here back with yet another 100% achievement guide and we are getting it all in the genuinely fantastic Star of Field. So this is a bit of a longer intro here as I've just got to say a couple of things first up. So first, yes, this is a PC console command version, so if you're about to be all fuming with life, bruh, and call me a cheat, well, that's cute, bruh. I understand... There's plenty of people out there, like myself, that don't always get a billion hours to put into a game, let alone turn it into a guide. Um, second, rather than be just a completely full walkthrough with sort of every level and everything, I'll just be taking you through sort of how to get every achievement, plus where all the collectibles are, etc, etc. Like I said, it's everything in this guide in chronological order. Um, basically meaning uh, the place that we'd find it. So, uh, and you know, i got to let you have some fun with the game as well. Uh, thirdly, I will, and I do, and I have to give the biggest shout out and completely full credit, and money if I had any, sorry lads, to Brunt for creating the achievement enabler necessary to do this on Game Pass PC, Prick Raid for uploading it and giving me permission to use it in the video. Also, uh, I've got to give a big shout out to Troubleshoot on YouTube for the explanation as well on how to get the Achievement Enabler working on your PC. So that's always there if you need a visual. Uh, of course, I will put a link to Brump's Nexus mod, Achievement Enabler, and the YouTube video showing you how to do it in the description below. It is really easy, genuinely, I know, because I am honestly duller than a brush with poop stains on them. So yeah, if you're still around, hi! Welcome to Fallout in Space! Developed and published by Bethesda, of course, this controversial, and I mean that with absolutely no conviction, uh, convi absolutely no conviction whatsoever, uh, game has Xbox fans bursting and PS fans cursing. Now, achievements are relatively easy enough and quite straightforward, but usually would be a bit of a grind, between 60 to 80, at 60 to 80 hours grind, as it were. But of course, with this method, I'll be taking that down considerably much more. And again, whether you agree or not with this method, it's completely up to you. But I've seen the, ni I've seen the same 19,732 guides from a lot of different people. So I guess I'm just going down a different route. Anyways, let's sit back, relax, get up and go nuts, and let's do it. And of course, we will begin by pressing the start button, the new button. Mess around with the settings if you want as well. Um, you can put it on very easy, easy, normal, or very hard. Now, for the majority of this game, in fact, for all of this game, we will be using God Mode. So if you want to change the settings to very hard, um, you know, obviously, the harder it is, the more loot and uh, the more things that you are able to pick up. So... You know, it's completely up to you. You know, you can do this as a case of you just want God Mode on because you just want to enjoy it more without having to worry about dying everywhere. Or you can just cheat the hell out of it. Now, one uh, big thing I should say is, just like if you remember in the Elder Scrolls and Fallout uh, for Game Pass PC, you could enter the code CAQS, which basically completes all the quests popping you up all of those achievements. Obviously, you are more than welcome to try those, but unfortunately, there is a pretty pretty high risk that your computer will end up crashing before any or if all of the achievements will unlock. So if you want to do that, if you don't want to play any of the missions, just type in... Um, well, for me, the to get the console command menu up, it was the little, like, comma thing um, on the same button as the at... Uh, you know what you do at email doc at hotmail dot com and all that stuff. Yeah, that was the button for me for some reason. Um, so it could be different on your keyboard. Normally, it's the button just underneath the escape one. But anyway, uh, once you've done that, yeah. So you can try CAQS if you don't want to play any of the game. Obviously, um, I it totally crashed. You know, my computer is not the best, so had a few issues right there. But this is the start of the game, so that's why. Um, at least for the first half hour, we're just going to go through the first sort of mission or two. Um, I won't be showing you, obviously, everything, but it's more of a tutorial. So for the next sort of, you know, 20 to 30 minutes, we'll just uh, sort of uh, plod along and see what we can do. And then after that, obviously, I'll just get straight to the achievements and straight to whatever it is that we specifically need. So, hello, hello. You look like Heil Heller. 
Uh, anyway, after just walking on a bit, now, people have said that the game is pretty slow to start, uh, which it is, so, you know, don't be one of those people that's like, oh, I bought it for £70 and then I uninstalled it straight away because five minutes in and I'm not blowing off Super Terramorph's heads. Uh, so, yeah, after a bit of walking and talking, uh, you're going to pick up the laser cutter right here and you're just going to do a bit of mining. Um, again, this is more of a sort of walk and talk mission. Left trigger to aim, of course, right trigger to shoot. Now, a little bit further on, you're going to end up in this section. Well, I say this section. This is more towards the end of this particular level. So if you type or um, get the console command menu up and then type in TGM, that is God Mode. Now, like I said, for the for the rest of my playthrough, personally, I am going to use God Mode. Um, we will be using the console command menu as well to get other achievements a little bit later on. Uh, but for now, what we're going to do is... We're going to go through the game, or what the plan is, anyway, we're going to go through the game, uh, just a bit. Um, effectively, just, there's basically four factions that we are going to join. So, yes, we do have to do the missions relating to all of those factions. There's only a couple in there. And then we will do more of the achievements later on. Now, as for the skill magazines as well, there's basically 20. One we will pick up in just a bit. So, like I said, this is going to be in a chronological order. So we will do it um, as we go. So I won't be saving something for later on. This, since this is technically a sort of short slash full playthrough, we're going to be uh, grabbing them as we go. And it'll all be in the timestamps below anyway. So now you go on to the customer characterization. And um, I wonder, I wonder if there is a man out there called Mr. Kiria. Lee Kiria. I think that's a normal, I think that's a positively normal name, don't you? Uh, but, but yes. So, uh, yeah, a bit of character customization there and a bit more talking's going on and then a bit more following old Dusty Lin. Huh. Either way. All this trouble for that stupid thing? And a few more little tutorial -y bits. Um, press what was once known as the select button in order to switch between first and third person. Once you've decided on what you prefer, uh, follow all dusty bags right here, and then eventually we'll get to the airlock. And what you're gonna, gonna need to do now is equip yourself a helmet. So let's press the start button, which will always be the start button. And in the menu here, you've got missions, you've got your infantry, uh, the star map, and your skills as well. Uh, but we're gonna go to our inventory, and as you can see, we're going to go down, go down to helmets. This is basically where you get your aid, your resources, all your spacesuits, all your weapons that you collect and everything. Go down to helmets, press the A button, and then hold the B button to exit. And ta-da! Off we go! So, again, you're going to be following Lin a little bit. You're going to... Uh, and eventually another big spaceship is going to come down. And we're going to have a little conversation with Barrett. And then eventually, after this conversation with Barrett, uh, a couple of pirates are going to pop down. So this is the first real battle of the game. You can grab a gun if you want. Now remember, because we are in god mode, or, you know, obviously if you're playing it legit, you know, hide and be a bit more stealthy. But if you're playing it like me on god mode, there you go. You've got to go into your inventory if you want to swap the guns. Um, so just grab the pistol. Here come the pirates shooting down. Shoot him dead. Go it, boy. Zzz and girl. Zzz. Oh yeah, and in case you didn't figure, if you click on the right stick, that's the uh, melee attack as well. So when we speak to Barrett again, we're going to say, yes, I'm in this artifact of yours. Now, I don't know if that actually makes any difference. I think we've got to, um, to progress the story. We're going to have to go on Barrett's ship anyway. And I send your Dusty here in my place. Uh, 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 soon as he touched that rock. So Fine. Get out of here, Dusty. Just go. Well, Vasco, 
Get him to the lodge. Indigo. Oh, and hey, take this. Ooh, a watch. Thanks, bruh. Uh, you know, we could probably get uh, a lot of fake ones for a lot less, but there we go. Anyway, I mean, maybe. Yeah, anyway, we're going to press the B button to completely exit, unless you want to speak to Barrett all the way. Completely up to you. Then we've got the little companion. Hello, Vasco. Just sounds like a Russian version of the name Roscoe, doesn't it? Hello, Vasco. Uh, so we're going to climb onto the ship, and this is the first time, of course, that we are going to be flying a ship. Plus, we'll finally get the first achievement. This is about 20, 25 minutes in. Um, so if you press the left bumper button as well, that'll bring out your scanner. Obviously, when we're on other planets, you will be able to scan things such as minerals and plants and enemies and things like that. But we'll worry about that a little bit later on. Open up the hatch. And here we go. So get in. And obviously this is yet more tutorial than this is, 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 is. And apparently we haven't um, done anything before, but let's do it. Let's press the Y button and take off. The first achievement will unlock here. And then we will be flying higher than an acid-tripped hippie. Um, I mean, and that's pretty high, man. That is pretty high, dude. So... Now, with this whole sort of uh, star galaxy thing, you can fly to every um, uh, every planet if you want, but what we'll be doing for the majority of the time is just fast traveling to these planets because it's obviously going to save a lot more time. So as you can see then, with the speed, uh, you can put the speed up with the left stick. You can click it in with... Uh, you can click, uh, click in the left stick to give yourself a little boost. And as you can see on the bottom left hand corner there, you can change uh, bits of power. So if you want a bit more of your weaponry, you can put the lasers, the missiles and everything else up. Or you can put the engine up more or you can put the shield up more. You can uh, basically do that again because we're on God mode or we're playing this particular playthrough in God mode. It doesn't particularly matter, um, but obviously if you wanted to do this more legit, obviously you're going to have to get used to what you prefer. Uh, now, it's another tutorial where we have to basically uh, shoot a couple of ships. Now, what again, what you will be able to do easy is press the A button there, as I said, to target the ship. Once you do look at the ship, it'll lock on. And then you can press your ballistic, uh, ballistic gun, your laser with the right trigger, the ballistic with the left trigger, and the missile with the Y button. So you can literally just keep uh, slamming them down, of course. Um, now, again... I'm playing on God mode, so I don't have any particular strategies for dealing with these bras just yet. Maybe just, you know, don't die. <laughs> Fantastic advice, as always, from me. Um, anyway, once you have dealt with this one, there will be another two that you've got to deal with. And then we can finally crack on with the main story. So every time that you destroy a ship, uh, well this one's going to start flying towards us, but they'll always drop like um, a crate loot. So, and it'll always be marked on your map as well, so it's always worth just going to pick them up. I mean again, obviously I know we're playing on console commands, um, and obviously we can just pick whatever skills and resources we want to grab. But it's always worth going to, and credits and stuff, but it's always worth just going to grab these. Uh, you know, tr try and play it as legit as we can, isn't it? Even though we are effectively indebtable. And that is a word. So, we're going to go into your star map. We're going to press the B button once you go into your star map in order to uh, come out. And obviously, you're going to see the blue marker there to go to the planet of Crete. If you, if you go into your missions there as well, it'll tell you where you need to go, what you need to do. And again, once we uh, click on the planet Crete, we can press the A button a couple of times here to set course. 
and then we can press the X button to travel. So because you've marked Crete on your map, now we are able to fast travel instead of having to go to planet after planet by driving or flying or spacing. We have arrived in orbit. And so once we do get to Crete, now again, you don't actually have to fly there. We can, as you can see at the top there, press the start button, what was once officially known as the start button. Uh, we're gonna go to the star map and then we can just press the X button again to land. Now the very wonderful Alana Pierce, uh, yes, very wonderful, I said it. Yes, I'm a simp. I think we're all simps. Um, <laughs> but she basically flew from one end of the map to the other, which took seven hours. So as you can imagine, if you're just trying to get a quick, <laughs> a quick-ish 1,000, or the quickest that you possibly can, flying from planet to planet is going to take a little longer. So let us get up and get off. So this is now basically us. This is part of the same mission. We still have to do this one then. This is where, um, again, we're on a planet, so we can go ahead and press the left bumper. That'll be able to get your scanner out. So again, in order to gather resources and everything later on, what we can do, we can scan um, certain enemies. As you can see, you get a survey button. So on every planet, um, there are three things that we can resource. Uh, and again, we will just crack on with the main story in just a minute. But it is always worth just having a little exploration around. Even if you're looking for things on the main path, so you're going to find up uh, the main path. Sorry, you're going to find lead, iron, silver, you know, absolutely everything. So we're going to need to find the majority if we want to build some cool stuff later on. And this is called a Crete Stalker. Now, these Crete Stalkers you normally find on Twitter harassing, um, harassing Twitch girls. Yes, so this is exactly what they look like. And um, usually they end up sending wiener pics, which, of course, Twitch, every girl streaming on Twitch really does enjoy. <laughs> Please note the sarcasm. Please stop sending your wiener pics. It looks like a naked, disgusting mole rat. Um, so, obviously there are... Uh, obviously, the more exploration that you do on a planet, the more that we can unlock fast travel points, and there's obviously a lot, a lot of exploration. And that is just one of the reasons why I genuinely do adore and enjoy this game. The fact that a lot of planets have a lot of stuff to explore. It's not just barren wastelands there's always things to be doing so <laughs> you know and if you don't like that well well maybe the game's not for you man but anyway after we've had a little look up and we've um, scanned what we can outside or if you just want to crack on straight away with the main mission what you're basically going to do then is always be following the little blue icon marker of course that is and by the way you can't scan anything inside so don't worry about that so the blue little um, the blue little icon, of course, is where you're going to be heading to uh, each direction. So, basically, you're just going to be going into a room filled with uh, room filled with pirates. So, just keep following the path along, and then eventually, we're going to get our first level. So, again, we receive every skill point, and we can just uh, crack on with whatever you prefer. Now, of course, it is... I mean, again, because we're on God Mode, it doesn't matter, but if you were playing this, you know, totally legit, you could either put it in Stealth, in Combat. Um, now, there are a lot of skill points to get. We need to get to skill level 100 anyway, but it really depends on what you prefer to do. Um, so we just chuck it in Social, bit of Persuasion, can't beat a bit of Persuasion, and then eventually we will come to the end of this where we get to speak to the Crimson Fleet leader. Now... <clears throat> excuse me now you can persuade him sometimes you can persuade him and then he'll just chill out or he will uh, reject that claim and start attacking the crap out of you now our crap wants to stay inside of ourselves. wait a minute I know my name's Leaky Rear but we don't actually have a Leaky Rear okay so <clears throat> as you can see there the higher the difficulty the greater chance that the choice fails but the more points you get into it um, in order to uh, finish the persuasion check quickly, uh, faster. So, um, yeah, 
So again, you know, just choose whichever options you want. It doesn't particularly matter. Um, again, sometimes the first time I went through this, he went absolutely well. And then the second time I went through it, he rejected it and then tried to shoot me. But of course, I am invincible now. So whichever way you do, we can now return to the ship. And again, thanks to fast travel, we can do that. So get out your scanner, point, look at the ship, and then we can just fast travel straight there. And again, bras, we can do some bras. But we can do some uh, fast traveling directly from the mission menu. So once again, we'll press the start button here. When we uh, get in and strap ourselves in and feel the G's. Max power. Anyway, missions are on the bottom. Here is the mission menu. So, of course, it is still just one small step. So, what you can see, we are... Well, we're right above it. So, you can just press the X button to jump straight to whichever planet that it is you're wanting to go. Is the Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri. <clears throat> Alpha Tauri. So again, you can either fly to the sun, or it'll just be a little bit easier. Well, we've got to wait for the scan for just a sec. Um, and the scan is basically, so every new planet that you go to, if it's got a town or settlement on it, um, they will always scan for contraband. There is an achievement for successfully smuggling contraband, um, which again, we'll get to quite a bit later on. Otherwise, we can just go into the star map. You should be on the planet. So now we can just press and hold the X button to land. This is the main, well, effectively, I'd say the sort of main hub planet, if you want. Uh, New Atlantis. Um, and hopefully this one isn't going to go underwater as well. The old Atlantis sucked, apparently. Uh, so hopefully the new Atlantis won't end up like the first Bioshock game and end up all underwater. Yes, I know that was Rapture, but, you know, there's a joke in there somewhere. Um, right, so... Let's take a look. Now, there is another achievement for, for uh, completing 30 activities. And <clears throat> basically, activities are going to pop up literally uh, just absolutely everywhere. Um, and there is activity. So basically, you can just walk past people and they'll have a little chat and then an activity will pop up and it'll be easy things like uh, I'll have one up here which will which will say uh, speak to a scientist by a tree. Uh, or, you know, roughly something similar. So they're extremely, extremely small, small side missions. But again, we need to complete 30 of these, which we'll do once again a little bit later on. As you can see, so um, one activity has just popped up. Talk to the scientist by the tree. Uh, otherwise, we can just go ahead and not shoot the floor just in case we get our buns shot in. And not in a good way either. Although, getting your buns shot in, is there a good way in that? Well, some kinky people will tell me, but for now, we will just follow the destination. Again, if you're just trying to blast through the main story and everything, always follow the Blue Marker. If you want to do some exploring, well, I'll see you in just a few hundred hours. So again, depending on what you do, uh, what, what you want to do, of course, we're just going to go straight, make a beeline straight for the house that we need to go into. There it is. So just follow the Blue Marker. The, la the, the lounge, the lodge, the, the lounge, the lodge. Apparently my eyes decide not to work. Um, so once we go in, then this is where we're going to find our first companion. Now, there is an achievement uh, for basically completing a maximum relationship with someone. Now, I'm just going to stick with Sarah. There's four people who will give us quests. There's Barrett, Samco, uh, Sarah, and someone else. I've already forgotten the name. Um, but yeah, so we've got to get a uh, maximum relationship. So I'm just going to do it with Sarah, who looks awfully dead behind the eyes. It's kind of a turn on in a weird way. Uh, but anyway, so what effectively what you need to do for Sarah for that achievement is basically uh, compliment the constellation and say how everything is basically awesome. Um, again, we'll explain. I'll explain a little bit more. To, uh, in that in just a little bit later on uh, but we're actually going to be coming up to the first out of 20 skill magazines now again remember what I said uh, I'm not doing it as like a, a collectible all-in-one I'm doing it as a sort of all uh, as we go guide 
So the first skill magazine is directly here on the counter. Constellation Guide. So we're going to pick that up. And again, that is going to be number one out of 20. And then a little bit later on, of course, we are going to be grabbing the rest. So, uh, yep. They're going to have a little chat. You can have a little look around if you want. Have a little sit down. And then eventually they're going to ask you to put the piece that you found on. Lots of stuff's going to happen. We get to level three. And, well... We're going to have another little chat with Sarah, and then away we go. So, after this one now, um, we can join um, four factions. That's the word I'm looking for. Uh, four factions. So, again, I'm just having a little conversation with Sarah, just finding out more about her, you know. Wow, the constellation's so cute, bruh. Uh, but basically, we can uh, effectively join four factions. We'll need to do a couple of missions for those factions, to get achievements. Now, joining one faction won't lock you out of another one. So, do not panic your beautiful little hairdos off about that. Unless you're as bold as me, then don't worry your shiny little heads off. Um, But, yeah. So, the first thing we are going to do is actually join the UC Vanguard. Which we go... We have to go and speak to this bro anyway. So, uh, Sarah will say whatever she says there. And then we've got to follow this blue marker. We won't speak to you. Because you are nothing to me. But to the left, here is Officer Two Daddy. Two Allah, I meant. So he's basically going to say... Uh, so it, it, effectively, the Vanguard missions start now. Only a couple. There's only a couple. So we just need to head down an elevator. Uh, and again, we are starting to come into the game where the tutorials are starting to end. And we are, you know, effectively just cracking on with it now. Um, so obviously, later on, I won't be showing you... Every little bit of mission, only what to do and where, uh, whatever specific achievements unlock. So after doing the uh, ship simulator, so basically you have to destroy three ships on a ship simulator. We go back to Officer Tuala, Big Two Daddy right here, and you can have a little conversation. When he says, I'm ready, you're going to have to uh, follow him a little bit and do a whole, whole orientation thing. And then we'll be able to go to the spaceport. Speak to Officer Bad Guy Mustache. Yes, this guy, Bad Guy Mustache, right here. Hello, Mustache Bad Guy. So, again, that, that obviously, it, if you are just looking to do the missions, of course, you should be able to follow and track the blue icon rather simply. Questions before you... Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there. Okay, so this is pretty much maybe the last time I'll be showing you how to do this now. Um, uh, sort of just um, jumping from planet to planet. Again, hopefully hopefully by now at least you probably would have played over an hour of the game. So hopefully you would have got used to the mechanics of um, shooting dudes, scanning dudes, scanning things, scanning uh, creepy twitch stalker stalkers. <laughs> And jumping from planet to planet. So, yeah, I think this will probably be the last time that I'll show you, uh, show you this. Again, always look out for ships to give it a shot. But if not, we can go straight to the star map. Now, we'll press the B button twice. And again, you're just looking for the blue icon marker. So, now we're into deep, deep space. So, as you can see, it's on the left for me. So, there we go. Oh, it should be on the left for you as well. So, that's where we're off then to that particular planet. We'll do some grab jumps. Press the X button, of course, to hold, and then we're going to jump that gravity boy. One, two, three, let's, let's do it. And remember, once you get to the particular planet, we can then press the start button, go to your star map, and now we should be able to go to the location. Press the A button and then X to land. And ta-da! 
so there's not much actually uh, in terms of this achievement. So what we just have to do, we've completed the Super A Ultra mission, if you want to check your missions. And now we have to complete Grunt Works. So now we effectively have to kill a Terramorph. You can go and find him straight away, but it's pretty much um, more effective and easier to do three tiny little op optional objectives. So again, you can go a little bit exploring if you want, but we're basically going to uh, come up to a lady called Adrian. Adrian. And she's going to uh, task us with doing a couple of optional objectives before we can kill the Terror Morph and head back. And then we can be in the vanguards and everyone will be like, Oh my god, you're so cute. So after a little bit more conversation with Hydrian, um, and after a little bit more things, what's going to happen is we then need to... This is an optional objective. Basically, we've got to go around um, and just enable some turrets. Uh, but for me, the Terramorph, he's sort of just randomly uh, popping around. Uh, it's completely up to you if you just want to find him straight away. Here he is. He's going to start coming for me now. Ah! So you can see why it's... Uh, if you're playing this without God Mode on, you pretty much see why you are going to want to turn on all three turrets. It'd be a lot easier. Um, but yes, Terramorph and Scary. So once you have dealt with Scary old Terramorph, I'll just give him a quick gun butt. Hoya, hoya, and hoya. Easy, easy with God Mode enable. So after that, then once you've killed him and you've grabbed everything, you need to return to Hadrian. She'll basically give us. Uh, we need to give her a little bit of a, a, a sample, a tissue sample from the old morph, and then uh, effectively we can just start heading back to the planet. Um, but what we're going to do now is the first out of thirty activities. Um, this one's pretty much unmissable anyway, so it's all good. So it's a very easy one that we need to do. We just got to check our ship's inventory. And the way that we need to do that then, so if we just back out of all the main menus for the moment, we'll get up out of our seat. Again, nothing's going to attack us now because we are safe. And then literally just on the right hand side on the wall, this is where the ship's inventory is. So you can, uh, there's a lot of stuff in the cargo hold. So you can take some things, you can put some things back, you can transfer some things over. So this will be, again, if you're struggling with um, incumbents and you've got too many things, literally just transfer it all onto the cargo hold right there. It's going to be a lot easier. So anyway, after we've done that, then we can finally head back to... Uh, Jemison, and we can go and speak to Officer Tulali Bags once again, and we'll ask him to uh, permission to deliver. Uh, <laughs> and after a little bit more conversation, uh, basically just seeing how much of a hero you are, uh, the achievement Supra e Ultra or Supra ET for Alien Phone Home Ultra will unlock. A researcher, hmm, Sanan. Let me check the database. Huh. Here we go. Service record. Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno... Certainly seems that... Did your survivor, Hadrian... Is she... I... This... Uh, has been... I did actually have another mission lined up for you. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out. I'll make sure you've got the... Consider these your first official in here. Right, so after we're all good, achievement's going to unlock, and we are happy to go with this one. So basically, to continue on with the main story, which we're going to need to do, we're going to speak to him again, and then eventually, uh, after the long conversation again, we are going to have to head back to the spaceport. Now, this is where we're going to get uh, the second activity, and... Another achievement here. So this is where our spaceship is. Now, normally, wherever you land in a big main sort of planet town like this, there is a ship service station. So go ahead, speak to the technician. And you'll just have to talk to him with the second option there. I'd like to view and modify my ships. Now, of course, if you've got, uh, if you've cheated your way to a ton of credits, you can obviously upgrade your ship like hell, whatever you want to do. Or if you are playing more legit and you don't have that much credits, you can still get this achievement here. 
All we're going to go is press the X button to go into the ship builder, and then we're just going to give them a cheeky little paint job. Yes, the old classic PJ. Uh, so you can do it anywhere on the ship, just change the colour, and the chief engineer achievement will unlock. I wish it was that easy to become an engineer. Different paint job. Here you go. Here's £6,000. Dollary dues. Dollars. Whatever. Right. And then that will be Le Grande. So, after we have done this then, we are going to obviously need to crack on with the main story, the old neighbourhood. But if you do want to just double check, we should be on sort of two activities. So the how you do this, you go in, you press the Y button when you're on the um, pause menu right here. And you can obviously look at your character, exploration, ship and everything. But if you go down to missions, that'll tell you how many activities you've completed, side quests, etc, etc. So after going to Snowdonia, I mean Cydonia, uh, we're basically going to speak to this guy, Jack, behind the bar. Now, you can either pay him to settle the tab, or you can persuade him. Uh, it pretty much doesn't... Uh, eventually, you will get the information out of him anyway. So whichever way you do it, you're going to get the information out of him. Now, uh, like I said, after this one, any sort of main missions, which don't have an achievement tied to it, um, I pretty much won't be covering. Uh, it's only the missions that uh, do have achievements tied to it. I'll just um, let you know which ones they are. And I'll try and let you know which missions we need to get beforehand, etc, etc. So anyway, after all that then, we need to be finding Jack's ship. So eventually we have to go uh, to Earth, but be careful because there are what are, what are known as spaces and epileptics. They're not called epileptics, they're called epileptics. Uh, but anyway, so after you go to Earth, you find a note, you come up to uh, Moses's spaceship, right? I mean Moira, Moira, Moira? Is that Mo Sislakra or is that just Moira? Uh, anyway, you're going to find him. He's got the one um, artifact that we need. And then what we need to do is go to the next planet. Again, like I said, you can't get lost in terms of trying to find your way through places. Obviously, there's a lack of map, but with the uh, blue icon, you should always know where you're going. So, same thing here then. We've got the first artifact. Uh, we end up having to go back. Popping that artifact on. And then... Ta-da! Oh, in fact, sorry. It was just the one. We're going to go and find another two now. So what we'll do then... We do have a couple of updated missions. Three, to be precise. So we've got Into the Unknown, The Empty Nest, and Back to Velectra. Now, Into the Unknown is the one that we're going to do first. Purely for achievement purposes... So we literally, uh, we'll, we'll pop that one on, and then we'll go and see, now Vladimir, I've got to be honest, I didn't expect Vladimir to look like this, uh, he looks more like uh, Mr. Motivator, and if you don't know Mr. Motivator, he is a 90s fitness guru from the UK, just Google him if you want to know exactly what he looks like there, but anyway, once you have gone to the pizza planet, pizzeria, um, this is where the first artifact will be, basically you have to go into an abandoned mine, and, again, there will be a lot of pirates just chilling about, so, obviously, you know, your your job is effectively to just head down and find the next artifact. respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience? The fact that it has happened to both you? I think it is that man. It was. Yes. So after your lovely little chat with Andreja, we are going to the next planet to find the second artifact. Um, again, there's going to be a lot, uh, a lot more trickier spaces. This one's on level 14 right here, the space punk. Do you feel lucky, punk? And the only reason that I'm particularly showing you this fight is because this is funny. Now, if you're going to go down with a couple of bullet wounds, uh, make sure not to crawl away with your ass in front of me because I'm going to shoot you square in... Uh, 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 oh, God, God damn it! Pure uh, genitalial ass explosion right there. Oh, that must have pinched just a little bit. 
Anyway, uh, so yes, it's another abound uh, abandoned mine uh, where the next artifact is. So there it is. So again, you're going to be grabbing this and then you're going to be flying back to the lodge on New Atlantis. So, after getting the two, I promise this mission is almost over, Mr. Kyria. Oh man, there's some cruel parents if uh, someone ever called their kid Lee Kyria. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to go in the lodge, have a little conversation with Matteo and Andreja as well. Is it Andrea or Andreja? Yeah, either way, we're going to have a little conversation. we got one more thing to do and then we can finally finish that quest and the achievement will unlock. And then we're going to start getting into the point where we're going to start unlocking some more achievements in terms of sort of miscellaneous ones and the grindy ones. Now, the way we're going to do that, I'm going to give you a choice. So what I'll do, I'm going to put the list of console commands in, so save for the skill magazines. Yes, you can just put in 20 skill magazines and unlock the achievement that way. So I'm going to put that in as well as showing you where to find 20 different skill magazines as well. So you've got a choice of which ones that you want to follow. <laughs> nice, aren't I? Wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars. I disagree. Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noel. The work is what moves us forward. You're with me, right? Science? Neutrality? In a different... Uh, how can you forfeit if you don't even take a side? You're getting... Playing and safe, eh? Bird, I promise we are getting there. So, after this little conversation, what we have to do is go back to Mr. Motivator on the eye. Uh, have a little conversation with him, and then we've got to do what could seemingly be just a little confusing puzzle. Um, we have to go to a planet called Procyon 3. Oh, Procyon. Um, so, again, this is what we do. Go to the eye, and then we end up on this Procyon planet. Now, what you have to basically do is get your scanner out, and you have to follow the distortion. So, on your little uh, map right here, the, the, you know, the wandering eye, it's going to get all distorted, and effectively, it's going to be so distorted that we're eventually going to come to this area, um... Hey, that's a great looking head you got on your cactus. So, yeah, you're going to follow this area and then eventually it's going to lead us down this path. And then there is a little puzzle that we can do again. Now, what I do like about this game is that it doesn't hold your hand in terms of what you have to do. Now, a lot of people have been, I've seen a lot of articles and stuff going, it doesn't even tell you what to do. Oh, that's disgusting. Well, that, that's the point in games. Sometimes it's good to try and figure stuff out yourself. You don't want to be babies forever, do we? Uh, but effectively, what you have to do with this puzzle then is going to be a bunch of rings that are going to start floating right in the middle here. We can press the Y button to float up and the B button to float down. And you're going to see all these little bits of floating stars. Now, what you have to do is effectively find what kind of looks like a spinning person or something. Uh, they're like a gaggle of stars. I'll show you what I mean now. Uh, but you effectively just have to keep um, going into this spinning random gaggle of stars not that one and you'll see exactly what i mean now can be kind of hard to see but there it is so all you have to do is find these sometimes you may not uh, sometimes you may be a little bit slow sometimes you will get it straight away no problem but all you, obviously it gets faster and faster the more you do so this is all you have to do for this puzzle is just find these spinning tops of stars or whatever and when you've done it enough times eventually a cutscene will appear and then we have to go all the way back to the lodge and that's a long ass way
And then as it turns out, it's actually what gives you some superhuman power or something. Um, which, of course, this is where we get the first power, So, and there's a lot to collect in the game. So we press the start button, click up, and you can see powers. Obviously, at the moment, you've only got one. A little bit later on, I will be using the cheeky console command just to unlock them all, just because. Meh. So uh, choose the anti-gravity field. And then to use powers, to use any powers, you're going to press the left bumper and the right bumper at the same time. And it'll give you a little burst of... Yeah. Now, uh, especially for some grindy achievements, you know, I could not find a console command anyway for what is called Quantum Essence. Now, you have to collect 20 of these for an achievement anyway. They're basically, they only come out of an enemy called the Starborn. Um... And basically what that'll do is give you unlimited power for 60 seconds. Roughly something like that. But anyway. Uh, so after all that and you've done that, you're basically going to head back. Mr. Motivate is going to be like, Damn man, what the hell? Or, Damn man, what's the hell? In Russian. Or whatever he is, whatever he's from. He's going to say that and the achievement's going to unlock. So what we're going to do now is start with a couple of miscellaneous achievements. So I'm still on Jemison. Uh, New Atlantis. I've basically just gone to the the explored land, which you can fast travel to anyway. Now, what you need to do is press the left bumper and then the X button. That will get you a beacon outpost, and that will unlock the home sweet home achievement. And then if we uh, and this is effectively now your build area. So if we go to miscellaneous and go down to cargo link, it's actually one of these massive, huge buildings. Now we've got to connect five of these, even though technically it is six. So, you've got the beacon outpost down, you've got the cargo link down, first of all. So, what you need to now do, you can see, like, the ring there. This, it, like I said, this is your building area. You can't build one in the same area. So, you're going to have to go for a little jog. And I know most of us, jogging is pretty much a swear word. Um, so, when you are out of that build, of that build area, press the left bumper again. You should have, automatically, you should have eight outposts available to use now. Uh, and then you can get more later on. Uh, but keep your outpost out, and then eventually we will be far enough from that outpost and cargo link that we can place another one down. There we go. So obviously it's going to be red when you can near use it, and green when you can use it. So once that's done, and you've got, like I said, we're on this bit of explored land. You can't build anything by uh, any settlements, towns, cities, anything like that. So that's why you need a big piece of land to be uh, waltzing your way over. Anyway, once you have chucked this second Kagi link down, head up the steps. And on the right is a computer. We're going to press the A button here. Uh, don't hold it like I do because I am dumbeth. There you go. And now you should be able to link number one and number two. So press the A button here on the cargo link. That should now turn green. And away you go. So you just do the same thing. Now you will have to go and obviously get out of the building zone this current building zone, go to another one. Also, like I said, if you are too close to a town, you can see on the bottom there that the outpost was greyed out, which means obviously you just need to go in a different direction, get away from a settlement, get away from an outpost, whatever you are, and build another one. So obviously this, this should now be number three. So then what you do, uh, I actually do mess up here. What you're supposed to do now uh, after putting this one down, is obviously go out of the building zone and build a fourth one and then link four and three. So eventually, when we get there, um, I accidentally ended up linking uh, two and four, which won't get you the achievement. So basically, you need to do it. You need to link one and two, uh, like four and three, and then six and five. That's how you're supposed to do it, or three and four, whatever. Um... So, yeah, I've done this. Now, what I actually ended up doing was finding... I built another two, ended up finding the fourth one, connected four and five, and then uh, three and four as well. So, yeah, like I said, you've got to connect one and two, three and four, and then five and six. So, once all those have been done, the achievement should unlock, and then you should be good to go. It was kind of confusing first. I didn't... Uh, there wasn't really any sort of good explanations in terms of um, what to use and what to do. It just sort of, you know, anything I looked at was saying, yep, just just build six and then link them all together. Great! Fantastically well written. Uh, so I thought I'd just let you know uh, in a little bit more detail. That is how you get that achievement. Now, we're going to start smashing out the... 
console command eyes. In fact, actually, what we're going to do first is a little bit of industrial um, a setup for the industrialist achievement. Now, that is for um, gathering 500 resources from outposts. Now, of course, legit, you'd obviously have to go to a shop or someone who sells things, obviously. You'd have to get some credits. You'd have to shoot some stuff and, you know, get the required items. Of course, we're playing on PC and we got console command, so we're not going to do that. So, go into your console command menu and we're going to get some copper first. So, we're going to put add item 00005576 space 200. Obviously, because then you've got uh, what particular item you want and you get uh, the quantity as well. Next, we're going to get some nickel. So, it's add item space 00005572 space 200. I'll get you 200 nickel. And then we're going to go add item space 0024-6B6A space 200. And that is going to get us 200 adaptive frames. Now, the reason we're going to be doing this is um, you basically need to set up to get to um, get the achievement for the industrialist. Obviously, you need a, le a lot less uh, because basically what you'd have to do is set up a solar array um, so we need to pop down an outpost here. I'll tell you what we need now. So pop down an outpost. Again, this is our building area now. So anytime that you press the X button in the building area, it'll take you to the build mode. So first of all, go to power. We're going to pop out a solar array. But because we got lots, we're going to pop out three. So we can get this achievement done a little bit quicker. Or you can put as many as you want down in your building area if you want it even quicker. So there's the solar array that basically gives us power because we need at least five power in order to power up the powery powers that we need. So go to extractors. Now, as you can see there, we also need some benzene and some membrane. Sounds like a, uh, uh, just sounds like a Real Madrid front two there, to be honest, doesn't it? Out comes benzene and membrane for the win. Uh, so we'll just uh, back out of here for just a moment because we do need a couple of these water extractors as well. So, uh, and by the way, this whole landing area right here, this is where we're going to be getting quite a few miscellaneous achievements as well in terms of accessing 50 computers and doing some locks and stuff like that. We're going to do it all. Because, um, you know, if you want it easier, then hey, I'm here to help you. Of course, a lot of these achievements you can get legit throughout the game in terms of just um, going through computers and exploring. But uh, like I said, we ain't got time much. Anyway... So, by any console command, we're going to go add item space 0000 and then just put whatever quantity that you want. I just put 500 because why not? And then add item uh, 00055B0 and then another 500 and that'll get us the benzene and the membrane. The membrane and the benzene. Actually, yeah, it's not a it's not a Real Madrid front two because everyone's bagging off to Saudi Arabia now, haven't they? So, uh, oh yes, because the Saudi football is great. It's definitely not about the money or anything, is it? So now we have a lot of resources. We can now put the extractors down, but you can't actually put um, more than one down in a build area. So you actually have to fling um, two just outside of the building area. Now I'm pretty sure that. I'm not sure, actually, if it's going to make a difference. I expect that it probably won't, or it probably will make much of a difference. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we're also going to be getting some liquid liquid storage containers as well. So the water extractor will just be working on its own. It's got power. All of that will then go into the liquid storage. So go into storage, go to liquid. And obviously, if you don't want to keep coming back to this planet in order to empty these storage containers... As you can see here, I put about six, seven, or eight down, and that should be more than enough. Because what you're going to see, once I chuck a couple more down here, and we can get out of this, you can see right there, it, the percentage is already going up, so it's already up to 3%, so look at that. So we have now set up everything we have for the industrialist achievement, and now we wait. So, now we're going to be going for the Life Begets Life Achievement in order to get the... Uh, 500 um, organic resources. So if you type in PSB on your console command, that actually now gives us all powers. There is 
Um, there are other console commands if you want just one specific power to grab, but the one we are specifically looking for at the minute is Eternal Harvest. So, uh, Eternal Harvest is going to come in mega handy. Now, remember what I said about Quantum Essence earlier? So, what you would do is on this... If you had already started killing the Starborn enemies, the Quantum Essence would be in the bottom left-hand corner. So, what we would do then is go up to any plant. So, rather than uh, grind by going around and trying to find different plants to harvest, what you would do is use the powers a couple of times on any plant. Use the Quantum Essence so that you get basically unlimited power for 60 seconds. And then you just keep that up until the achievement unlocks. Obviously, I haven't got that far on the game yet, so we are doing it with just the power. Now, the reason that we would use the Quantum Essence, here we go, we just go up to this plant right here. Um, now, the reason we would use the Quantum Essence is because when the power runs out, we have to just stand still and chill out until our power comes back for a little bit, until it sort of recharges. Uh, what we're also going to be doing is getting the Botany skill up to level 4, that... Um, so rather than having to do this 500 times, it sometimes gives us two, and it also gives us rarer items as well, if needed. So what you would need to do in order to get the botany skill up to rank four, we will uh, go into your console command menu, of course, and then we're going to go player dot add perk space zero zero two c five 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 seven. And you just need to repeat that four times until you get to rank four. So player.addperk space 002C5557. And then we'll get to rank four. And like I said, that then will, uh, sometimes it'll give us two instead of one. And it'll also give some rare items. Again, you will have to be here for, you know, if you're not doing this with the quantum essence, by the time that you wait, um, it still can take, Anywhere between sort of 30 and 45 minutes just to grind this one out. Um, now, what I did try and look for was uh, any of these organic items, which we tried to unlock. Then I would try and go for um, 499. So I, would, I was going to put 499 of any of these plants in my inventory and then see if harvesting one here would work, but I couldn't find any console commands for that at all. So we're going to have to do this the uh, grindy-ish way. Uh, also, if you wanted to, you can also build a bed in your area. Uh, that's some reason that ended up going or even being just a little bit quicker for me. Um, so if you if you run out of power like you do there, you can tell when you run out of power because your, your limpness goes... <laughs> And it gets all sparky. So sleep for a couple of hours and then you end up getting another couple. Sometimes, weirdly enough as well, sometimes you can keep going with the powers for quite a while. And then other times he gives you two squirts and a jerk. And uh, then everyone's left bitterly disappointed. Yes. So anyway, once you have finally got the 500. Now again, you can do it this way or you can just uh, crack on with the game and do it legit. Um, I just decided to do it now, just because. But anyway, once the achievement unlocks, then we move on to the next one. And the next one is going to be the achievement for accessing 50 computers. Not unlocking, just accessing. And the way we can do that, if we go into our inventory here, or our building mode, go into crafting, go to research lab. Um, again, this is another one that if you are just playing the game legit and as it is, uh, chances are you will be, uh, you can unlock any computer, by the way. So any little computer that you can have access to, um, it doesn't have to be anything specific. It can be a shop computer or whatever. Uh, but just as long as you've accessed it, then it all counts. Or, like I said, um, because obviously we're doing it the little cheeky, cheeky wiki PC way, we should have plenty of materials uh, enough to get the computers. If you do run out, you can just delete the computers and just chuck another 10. So that's what I ended up doing rather than uh, chucking 50 down and then getting confused because again, you have to access 50 different computers. So I ended up doing 10. Uh, if you want to delete those and then put another 10 down, access all 10 and do it that way. By the way, annoyingly, some enemies will show up, but of course that's fine because we need 
to kill at least 300 bugs in order for the 300 bugs achievement, which is called killing 300 bugs. No, actually, it's not, but still. Um, so if some bugs uh, appear, don't... Uh, yeah, just get them dead, and then we can just crack on. So yeah, deleting everything gives you... Again, I think it was aluminium or aluminum, uh, which I needed to uh, get. So that's why I ended up deleting a lot of these computers. Anyway, after you chuck another 10 down, basically, like I said, we need 50 overall. So as soon as 50 is done, that is that achievement done. So again, it's a couple of quick, quick snap achievements we're going to get out here. And then we're going to go and join up with a couple of factions. Right, so... Spinny spin. Basically, once you once I've spinned, that's when you know the achievement should be unlocking for you. So next up then is now going to be the uh, 50 weapon mods. So again, back into your building, still in the same place. We're going to go to crafting and we're going to go down to weapons at workbench. This one should be nice and easy. So what we're going to do, even if you don't have many materials, you can basically go on any gun and swap it f with... Uh, so go down to muzzle, any gun... Go down to muzzle, and then you're going to swap between the compensator and no mod. So you're just going to keep on doing that. It only costs one, whatever it is, iron and nickel. So, and it counts with absolutely everything. So just keep swapping between compensator and no mod. You can just keep doing it on the same gun rather than modding 50 guns. Now, this is pretty much most Americans' wet dreams right here, isn't it? Modding guns is the most American thing you can do. Actually, what is the most American thing you can do? Is it barbecue? Is it drinking beer off boobies? I don't know. I'm not American. I don't know what the most American thing to do is. Um, But a lot of uh, gun nuts will tell you, yeah, it's about shoving guns places you didn't know existed. Yeah, that's American. But if you are American and you're not really into guns, what is the most American thing you can do? I'm genuinely very interested in that one. Um, the most Welsh thing we can do is apparently stick our wiener in sheep, according to English people. Anyway, uh, that's for another day. So, spinny spin equals achievement has unlocked. Um, I did just want to show you this one because Sarah Deadeyes right here got... Uh, completely hardcore, just as we're having a nice conversation, we ended up getting attacked by big flowery butt bags, I was like, what the hell's going on, and oh, there we go, old flower mouth, Sarah decides to smash it absolutely in the nuts, <laughs> excuse me, I think I have COVID again, no, um, and then she decides to just stop talking, so, um, yep, yeah. So dead eyes, that, that was the automatic camera, swear down. Anyway, uh, I had to reload the save anyway. I just wanted to uh, show you how badass Sarah is, even when we're in the middle of a conversation. So next up then, we're going to go to crafting, and we're going to go down to pharmaceuticals lab. Now, you can do either medicine or crafting sort of anything else, um, materials and uh, whatever else. Now, basically, you can do bandages, blah, 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 but the one we're going for, for the cheapest one, is going to be the injector, the fifth one down right there. So if you go to uh, down to injector, uh, now, obviously, like I said, if you do need more materials, obviously, if you're watching this video, you can get console commands, so, you know, you're never really going to be stuck for materials, but the easiest one is going to be injector, purely because... We have a, well, a lot of what we need there. The metabolic metabolic agent and the membrane. So just keep spamming the A button as quick as you can until you get to 100. And the achievement shall unlock. And then, once this one has done and we've got those three achievements now out of the way, we are now going to start off with uh, the main mission with Samco called The Empty Nest. Now, we have to do this, basically, in order to join the Freestar Rangers. Because if you try and go to Aquila City, um, there's basically a shootout happening, which doesn't start until we start this mission. So, th this also sort of begs the question, if you want to... So, after we basically get the achievement for joining the Freestar Rangers, you can either keep Sam... Um, so, Sam's going to stick with you for the Empty Nest... 
so then you can either finish up Sam's main quest and then get Sarah back, obviously going for the maximum relationship, or you can just stick with Sam. Whatever it is, we are off to Aquila City, which is in the Cheyenne uh, quarters of the planet. Now, of course, uh, what you're going to do is not uh, travel there, but if you can't seem to find it on the map, um, if you go towards it in-game and press the A button, you can then press the X button, then it'll go onto your mission star map, and then that'll find it there. Uh, so once we get there, and then we get to Aquila. You know Aquila. You best not kill her. Aquila. Sorry, that was just awful. <laughs> just scary. This is Free Star Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. You're good to go. Have a nice time in Aquila City. So once you get to Aquila, uh, you're going to walk around and then you're eventually going to come to this bank where shootout's happening. Now you can either persuade the bank robbers to let you in or you can sneak around to the back. Either way, it's obviously going to end up in a shootout. Um, obviously I've managed to persuade myself because I'm such a charming little... I'm a charming fellow. Not with that accent joint. Uh, but anyway, he's going to let us in. Incredibly. That's incredibly stupid for a bank robber leader. So we're just going to head down and basically, obviously, what's going to happen next is you're going to shoot the absolute crap bags out of everyone. So the Dingle Dangle Scarecrows, they're all going to get smashed in the nuggets. And once everyone has been demolished, we are part of the Expendables crew now. Um, yeah, that's it. So we can just head outside. Then we can go and speak to Sheriff Daniels, uh, who is, of course, part of the Free Star Ranger, Mr. Daniel. Um, but the achievement's not going to unlock here. So basically, you no, know, in just a bit, he's going to go, oh, yeah, here you go. Have some stuff. You, you, you're great Free Star Ranger. Range of material, but we actually have to go and speak to Emma to do a terminal mission. Now we do have to do thirty terminal or miscellaneous missions in order to get another achievement later on. Um, so yeah, if you want, we can just do thirty right here. Um, so yeah, instead of cracking on with the main mission with Sam for now, we're just going to go straight in front of us. We're going to go ahead and speak to Emma. She's going to say. Oh, would you like to do a mission for us? And then we've got to do one more mission with Emma, and then the achievement will unlock. So, uh, yeah. Takes its takes time, but yeah, we'll get there. You got some business with me? Oh. Well, if the mark, just so you know what you're getting into. So turn around, have a look at the mission board. And then we're going to do whichever one you want. Uh, so yeah, literally doesn't matter which one we do. Again, obviously, if we're playing on this mode, we're playing on God mode. It really doesn't easy. Uh, it really doesn't matter. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and pick the top one. Kill the outlaw captain on Procyon. Procyon 5A or VA, whichever one it is. So again, obviously, once we get to Procyon VA, obviously going to be met with a lot of resistance. We're going to go ahead. Uh, basically go up an elevator, fight our way through. Now remember, even though we're on god mode, it's always worth still killing as many enemies as you can, because for another achievement, of course, we need to kill 300 enemies. Uh, but once you have killed the outlaw captain, what you'll need to do is get back out of here, go back to the, not the lodge, but we need to go back to the uh, Mrs. Wilcox. So we need to go back, talk to Emma, and then we can do one more mission. So after talking to Emma, she's going to lead us upstairs. We're going to speak to Daniel again. And again, you think, right, now I'm freestyle ranger material because I'm such a badass that I'm on god mode. But no, we do still have to do one more mission with Emma. And this one does take quite a while purely because it's one of, we basically have to go to... Uh, a farm called uh, Wagamama Farm. 
Wagon on Farm, Wagner Farm, whatever it is. And basically you have to look for clues, fight big massive bugs on the way, and then you can find the dudes that you're looking for. Well, most things. That being said, best grab any supplies you might need. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. And through the magic of more editing, nah, nah, here we are then. So after traversing through the canyon, uh, we will find some of these shore guys. And now the ruffian leader has a basically a note on him. So one of the objectives after killing everyone is read the job done slate. Now, this confused a lot of people, including me. I was looking for a slate around, having a look everywhere. But if we go into our inventory and you've picked everything up off the ruffian leader... There is the jobs done slate. So again, I think literally it took me around 10 minutes of looking around and absolutely losing my own brain. And then I decided to look in the inventory and went, ah, oh, there it is. Well, don't I feel stupid. But again, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that goes, oh, the game didn't direct me there. Oh, I need my handheld to play video games. Um, no, so yes. Anyway, once we have done, by the way, if you haven't decided to use any cheats in order to level yourself up, you will be on level 10 by now, or roughly on level 10 anyway. Either there or close enough to it. But anyway, once we have spoken to Miss Wagner Farmer, uh, the achievement deputized will finally be unlocked. And uh, yeah. Happy days. Now, the next part again, obviously, what I'm going to do is um, go and join the next two factions. So it's up to you. Like I said, after this one, you can either just crack on with the main story and finish the empty nest in order to get rid of Sam and get Sarah back. It depends who the love of your life is wanting to be in this game. Or you can just crack on with the other two factions, keep Sam and try and get a cheeky little relationship going with that brasky. Now, for this run, I am going to get rid of Sam, because as cool as he is, I want my Sarah back. And we're all in love with Sarah. So, with the empty nest then, what we need to do, we have to go back to the bank. Once we're back to the bank, we're going to speak to his dad, I assume. Now, you can either, again, you can either persuade. If the persuasion fails, you will have to get Sam to distract Jacob, and then we can go in the room behind him. Whether he gets pissed off and you can try and kill him or not, I'm not sure. I was, again, smooth operator, Carlos Sainz Jr. Right, there's the maps anyway. Uh, I did try looking for something to steal, but there's nothing to steal. Um, so, particularly, I'm trying to just grab some contraband so we can get the uh, contraband achievement out of the way for having contraband on a ship and being successfully scanned into a planet. Uh, but again, there's nothing in here. It's all boring office stuff. Well, that's crap. So, uh, what we need to do now is head to the empty nest. Now, this isn't somewhere we can f uh, fly to. It's roughly about 700 meters away from here. And we're going to have to take a long old walk. We're on the road again. I just can't wait to get out of this guy's old house again. Because it smells of old people and death. Um, so yes, of course. Now, remember, we need to gather as well 500 inorganic uh, resource materials. Uh, basically, break 500, bro uh, break 500 rocks. So kill everything that you see and break as many rocks as you can. Um, just so the grind is a little bit less grindy a little bit later on. Uh, but once you have killed what supposed to be a, I don't know, an armadildo, I don't know, whatever that's supposed to be. Uh, continue on heading to your main mission objector. Again, like I said, cutting in your ox and armadildo is on the way. Uh, that's what they're called, right? Anyway, once you, once you get to the hideout, you're going to shoot out, have a little shootout with a couple of um, shore gang members. Now, what we are going to do here, we're actually going to put our security level up to level 4 now. So, what you need to do, go into your console command menu here. Now, again, I tried to unlock it, but for some reason it just didn't seem to work for me. So, what we need to do is go to player.adperk space 002 
CE2E2. So we're going to need to do this four times. And this basically, what, what this does then, it uh, gives us the level four skill. So again, player.addperk002 CE2E2. It'll give us, um, and then basically what it'll do is just help us um, be able to unlock X, at least expert, plus it gives us mega help. So again, for whatever reason, I try to just type in the code unlock. Nothing unlocks. I don't know if I was doing it wrong or being dongish, mongish, etc. But what it also does is, and again, we'll grab a code to just give ourselves a lot of digi locks anyway, so that's fine. Don't need to worry about that. But I will show you with the door in just a bit. Now, in fact, I'll show you with this crate. Uh, I still don't unlock this uh, crate, which is all fine. But what you're going to see, when it turns blue, so basically you're going to go through each digi pick. When it turns blue, that means that two of them can fit. Okay, so that means that two of them can fit. Um, uh, so obviously what you're going to do is not use the digi locks with only one or two pins on them. You're obviously going to want to try and get the ones with three and four, etc. Uh, but again, I'll show you in just a bit. Now, there was a gate right there uh, with an advanced uh, di digi lock, pick lock, digi lock. Uh, but you can just jump over it if you don't want to. I'm going to show you uh, how to do that properly in just a little bit anyway. So once we get here, it's literally just following this now until the very end. Again, a lot of rocks in here for the inorganic resource material achievement. So remember to keep smashing out all the rocks that you can. Once you get to the end, smash every bit of rock out that you can. Grab the artifact and then we can just start heading back. And then I will show you how to, once you've used the console commands to get to security level 4, I will show you how to do this one now. So once again, ah, I'm Jeebus! Or something. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So here we are with the gate then. This is the same gate that we jumped over earlier. So. Obviously, like I said, what you're going to want to do is go through each one with the right bumper. And when the uh, white it's basically turns blue in front of us, that means that, oh, yes, one of these digipicks will fit. So just go through each one. Now, obviously, like I said, for the beginning ones, you are going to want to use the more digipicks. You don't want to be wasting digipicks that have just got one single one on them. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, that well, that's just a hell of a waste then. And then you'll... Have to back out, use a digi pick, and then go back into it. But yeah, so that is with security level four. That is how we do that. Uh, so again, we are going to need to unlock fifty different gates and crates and everything. So that's another achievement just to keep your eye out for. Again, you know, you, uh, while you're playing the game, obviously make sure to be doing that. But there are spots and places where we can get it, uh, where we can do a little grind just to get it out of the way a lot easier. Now, outside, you're going to speak with Shaw herself. Damn, man, she's hardcore. This is the type of relationship you want to be in with someone because you don't know whether she's going to sit in your face or shoot you in the head. And that's the kind of relationship we all want, huh? Right, so you can either give her some credits, you can either or persuade her. Uh, whichever way you do it, there's going to be three of those armor drildo things that uh, will appear. Um, you don't have to kill them if you don't want, but Shaw does give you a little uh, something something afterwards. So, completely up to you if you want to kill these armor drill those. There's three of them. Otherwise, uh, yeah, we can now, after this bit, we can now just simply head back to the lodge. Get rid of Sam. Man, you're cool as hell or everything, but uh, I want my Sarah back. I simp for Sarah. My rugrat co-pilot, work as a team. That's non-negotiable. If I'm coming with, that means Cora's is on your ship. Likewise. Come back to me, darling. Come back to me, baby. Let's go. Are you ready to head back out? Yes, because uh, now obviously we're still trying to get a full, full-on relationship, maximum whatever. Um, obviously. <laughs> I know we are playing with some cheats, but I am trying to still play this in a semi-legit way. Um, obviously, what you could do is just set the player perks and everything up to absolutely max and get everything done quickly. But 
it's good to play a good game like this. Um, with, you know, at least some semi-legitimacy. Right, so what we're going to do now is add some credits and digipacks. So we're going to go player.add item. And then we're going to go seven zeros. So seven zeros and F. And then however, uh, however many you want, that'll give us some credits. And then player.add item. Again, seven zeros. And then pick A, then space. Then again, however many you want. One, you know, 10,000, a million, whatever you want. Uh, but that'll be nice in our bank for later on. That's all good. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and join the last two factions. So we're going to take a sort of right. Um, first one we're going to go for is... Ryujin. Ryujin. It is the best gin of all. Uh, industries. So we're basically going to head down. Uh, if we could sort of... We keep hugging the sort of right hand side here. Uh, we can then start moving past through this building. Otherwise, you're just going to have to swim for it, which probably would have been quicker and easier. But once you get through this building here, you're going to hear just in the distance something about... Um, we are hiring right now. So go past all these swarms of stupid people. And right by this outland, this gal bank. Gal bank. And here it is. This is the Ryojin. So again, obviously, if you're exploring, you probably would have noticed this uh, immediately or sort of a lot earlier. So all you got to do then is just... Uh, answer a couple of questions here job application it literally does not matter what you answer uh, so answer everything and then we will continue on and then we basically have to travel to some planet which i forgot uh, but obviously it'll tell you with the blue dot anyway and again um i assume you would be pretty used to space exploration and how the star map and everything works oh there it is the vol 3 system the volley all right volley that's the system we're going to. So, get your buns there, Hans. There it is in the bottom right-hand corner of the Star Mac. Volley. Volley, volley, volley. Oui, oui, oui. Anyway, uh, when we do get here then, um, what we have to do is basically just find this office. Again, obviously, with the blue marker, it's very easy using your scanner. If you get lost, don't go the way I just did. You needed to go up the steps. Excuse me, girls, get the hell out of my way. Um, so Ryujin, to, to join Ryujin is very easy. We basically go and have to fetch some coffee and have to persuade someone from shooting his dead. Um, so after you talk to her, go ahead and nip to the coffee shop. It's literally at the end of the street. This guy who got sacked and we took his job, he's going to try and kill us all. Or kill me. So if you can, try and persuade him. Again, especially if you're trying to do it the legit way in terms of trying to get maximum relationship with Sarah. She likes a little more persuasion rather than violence. So uh, just do whatever it is that you're going to do with this guy. And then once you've got the coffee, we're going to head back. And then there's going to be, you basically then just have to talk to four of the board members or the managing directors or whatever the hell they are. Talk to all four of them. Talk to the main woman once more. Imogen, there she is. And then that will be that. So we are effectively in Ryujin now. So there we go. Achievement should now unlock. Back to the grind. Spinny spin to note that it has unlocked. So what we're going to do now is start the deep cover mission. Now you would have got this during the UC Vanguard mission. The Supra El Grande or whatever the hell that one is. The first one. So if you had done that mission, you would have got deep cover automatically. So... Now we're going to go ahead and join the Crimson Fleet. So what we're going to have to do is fly to this spaceship called the something sis. Or is it sis sus? Something sis and something sussy. Uh, so speak to Mr. Motivator's brother right here, Commander Ikande. Uh, basically what he's going to want us to do is obviously try and get in with the Crimson Fleet because the Crimson Fleet's they is nasty men's and women's. And they want, they are bad pirates. And we're obviously going to infiltrate it because we are birders. To stray too far off. That's what I want. Anyway, it's time to hand you over to... Now, get up. That's easy to answer. We'll be monitoring your activities from the... When you feel you've gathered enough evidence. Beyond that... 
So after talking to the Crimson Fleet ship and then going back to the ship, we're going to come into this area here in Sidonia, I believe. And we have to find this guy called Adler Kemp. It's a hell of a... sounds very adolf -y, But anyway, uh, what he wants us to do is get some credits off a homeless-looking bra right here. This particular homeless-looking bra. So you've got a choice here. You can either threaten him or you can actually just pay the credits yourself. Again, because we've done console commands, we paid the credits. Um, you're all good, beard face. Beard for say. So we'll just we'll just pay it. It's three thousand credits. So stop borrowing, you donkey. Look, I haven't got a single. Perhaps he's already. Holy crap! Thank you. So, once you have dealt with it, whatever way it is, now, we'll have the money, all good. But, a couple of Xbox users have been, or well, they have mentioned, a quite game-breaking bug where you can't join the Crimson Fleet. So basically, what, uh, or what has happened is people have gone back to Adler with the money um, and then for whatever reason, the Crimson Fleet ship doesn't appear or something else happens and then they can't actually join the fleet and they have to start a new game. So it is advised or they have to go, or people have, have gone hours earlier in order to get back to this point. So it's recommended just to make a manual save here just in case the, um, the mission doesn't crack on. For me, I didn't have any problems personally playing on the PC version of Game Pass, but, you know, it may just happen to you, so just be a little aware of that one. So, after this one is done with Mr. Camp. <laughs> All right, I'll call ahead and get the whole head out to your robot. And after Grant Kemp has finally stopped talking, this ends deep cover, and now the Rook meets King um, side mission will appear. Now, obviously, this is the only way to get this to appear. So, this is another whole bunch of stuff where, effectively, we are going to go to the Crimson Fleet. Uh, it's called the Key, so we need to find the key. And then we have to do a little sort of side mission where we can... Uh, he wants us to go and kill a guy which is on the ship. You can either kill the guy or persuade him that he basically just has to board and we'll just give him a new identity. So again, whichever way you handle that, hopefully you do it the nice way because that'd be nice. You don't want to attack and kill all citizens. Uh, I done it the peaceful way, by the way, because I'm a nice guy. Uh, so anyway, when you come back to the key, you will be involved in a bit of a firefight once again. Uh, about three ships, I think, are going to be here. Uh, but once you're done, that will make the key lady be all like, nice, nice. So anyway, once this is done, you are then finally able to dock onto the key. And if you're not sure what docking really means, type in docking on Google. <laughs> um, anyway, once we are in, you're gonna, this is, this is the start of it. So we're almost done now, actually, with the Rook, Rook Meets King uh, mission. It only takes a while because we've got to go back and forth docking with each other. <laughs> Seriously, Google docking with other men. You will be disappointed. A uh, bit of a thing is going to go on here, a bit of a gunfight. That's unfortunate. Don't steal and you won't get shot in the stomach. Good life advice there, Starfield. Uh, but from now, effectively, what's going to happen is like a five to ten minute tour. Nothing's going to go on. You're literally just going to follow Neva or Neva. Is this a new Irish way to spell it? Or is it always going to be Naeem Her? And after the tour, we're going to then speak with the boss, Delgado, with the beautifulest moustache. And once Delgado has finished his speech, uh, this will be it. So, Rook meets King. Finally, that will be done. Honestly, that, that mission feels a lot longer than it should. Um, so that's those two done. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cheat a little bit. I can't be asked for the grind, so what I'm going to do is... Go into the console command here and put player dot set level space 24. Now, theoretically, what you could do is put player dot set level and put 100 and 
theor again, theoretically, you could just go ahead and unlock all of the level achievements if you wanted to. But again, trying to play this semi-legitimately. Now, what I also found out here, I went to start the um, mission All That Money Can Buy, but I put set stage space 002C1C9B, um, and then I put 2000 as well, space 2000. Now, what are that, what, what doing, because we put set stage, that actually completed the mission. So the achievement popped up straight away. So rather than the mission actually appearing and that's going to complete it, it actually just popped the mission straight away. So again, that is something that you could do if you just wanted to get the grind, if you just wanted to get them all out the way, put set stage, go online, find whichever mission it is that you want to complete and do it that way if you just want to get them out of the way. But again, try to play this semi-legitimately because we're cute. So again, you can obviously play the game through the story as intended, or what we are gonna, or what I'm gonna do now is put set stage space 007, uh, 0001 ce 8 space 10. Now what that does, will act, that'll actually start um, another mission, and that is exactly what we're gonna be doing. So, f sort of from now on, the only achievements, or the only missions that I'm gonna be doing is for the ones that we are specifically needing for achievements. Uh, or you can put set stage, whatever the number is, and put either a hundred or a thousand, which of course would just end the mission and give you the achievement straight out, as you've seen with all that money can buy. Um, but obviously, if you just want to play the game through the main missions as intended, then of course, be my guest. That's completely up to you. But obviously, I'm just going to be doing the missions now that will give us achievements. So what I am doing as well. So you remember a little bit earlier on about 50 minutes in. Um, we were going for the industrialist achievement. Obviously, I said to do a couple of, I um, written a couple of things because I forgot to do a couple of things, i.e. Um, link the extractor to the storage. Uh, so basically, if you don't do that, it'll end up uh, just basically stopping and you'll have to keep coming back and it's a bit of a pain in the butt. Um, so what I have done, I again, I'm on the planet of Jemison, right by uh, New Atlantis. And I'm in the same area, but... I fast traveled to my outpost one. So obviously I've still got one outpost beacon. Um, I tried finding the other one, but couldn't find it at all. Again, that's why I said to make sure earlier on to do it by an outpost beacon and actually leave it there. Don't take it with you because you'll end up losing it. Um, so <laughs> this is just another, uh, yeah, this is just another sort of stab at it if you want. So again, uh, if you, and again, I do apologize about earlier. That was kind of uh, kind of crappy, uh, kind of crappy of my explanationing right there. Um, so again, this is just another setting up for the industrial achievement. If you've already sort of set it up and everything, then you can just skip to effectively what we are. Uh, you can just skip ahead another minute or two until we start, or you can just crack on with further into the unknown. Um, but again, if you are wanting to see, you know, see what's happening, etc. Again, what we're going to do, we are going to be putting up uh, three... So we're going to put it quite close together. So obviously to link them up, they're going to need to put them clo cl quite close together. Uh, so obviously we're going to build three solar ar solar arrays. Um, we are going to do the water vapor. Now, if you want to get specifically just water, uh, you, you'll have to find a planet which has just, you know, specifically water on it. It'll be the same with, um, obviously, if you press the left bump when you're on the star map, you can see what resources are on the planet. So if it's water, could be lead, could be anything like that, um, whatever you're specifically wanted to go for. Um, but obviously on New Atlantis and Jemison, it is uh, water vapor extractor. So if you're wondering why none of that's come up, that's pretty much why. Um also, what you can do as well, uh, if you want to save the resource build, uh, oh, sorry, if you want to save the resource, build a transfer container and a landing pad, which of course we've got the landing pad there um, with the uh, one achievement we're doing, the big cargo link, whatever it was earlier. And then basically you can transfer the resources from your container to your ship. So that is just another idea there. Um, but obviously if we're doing it the sort of slightly cheaty way, <laughs> as we're doing here, we could just build a lot more storage containers and then once they're all linked up, they'll just go automatically go in and we should be golden as nuggety nuts.
So if you've done that and you're all happy, then we can just crack on with the game. So now we are going further into the unknown. Nya, nya, nya. Um, now what's going to happen is basically there's going to be a couple of uh, sequence missions uh, right after this one. So once we complete further into the unknown, so what we need to do, we basically, again, it's just getting a whole bunch of um, artifacts. So we're going to go to Altair, who is, of course, uh, this is the Assassin's Creed planet, of course. Um, but it is just a case of, as we've been doing so far, so go, we'll go to Altair of the planet. We're going to get the artifact. So we'll obviously have to find another abandoned... There it is. So we're going to a robotics lab. We're going to... Again, now if you have uh, got in with every faction, you should be able to just walk in with relative ease. Nobody's going to pick on you for being a wiener, which is good. Um, but this is where the Starborns uh, start, <laughs> start disintegrating. So again, remember, we need to kill at least 20 of these enemies. In order to get the... Oh, sorry, sir. Just shot you square in the back of the nugget. Uh, but again, we need to kill 20 of these Starborn enemies to get the 20 Quantum Essences. But it gets... But yeah, so when we get to this point here, um, I'm just, again, trying to resource the rocks as well. Try and break as many rocks as you can until we get to the grind later on. Now, the Starborn, as you can see, are quite invisible and powerful enemies. Again, God Mode's coming to our rescue. <laughs> Uh, but once you have killed said Starborn, uh, you can't actually loot his body. He will just disappear, and we will gather one Quantum Essence. And again, it'll come in handy if you want to use powers, etc., a little bit later on. Uh, so this was where we will get the first, uh, first artifact, and then we've got to go and grab another one. So again, make sure that you are, you know, just on your way, resource um, mining some rocks, Again, we're going to do the whole grind on that uh, a little bit later on. There is an easier place to grab it, but you might as well grab them on your way. And once we've grabbed this one, what we're going to need to do then is go to the planet Eridani 3. Very. Arrivederci, Riania. Diabagimano. Was that Italian? No, I didn't think so either. So after that's done then, and you can get out, and we are now heading to Eridani 3. There's basically going to be a level 24 ship, the um, epic epileptic stiletto shoehorn, uh, the second ship that we got to destroy. Um, so you might take a while to do that one, but once that one is done, um, well, now we're going to be doing a little bit of... Ow! You son of a... Yeah, anyway... Right, so once you have done a lot of fighting through the outpost, we need to go through the abandoned outpost, and we're going to get to the second artifact. Another Starborn will appear, so that'll be Quantum Essence number 2 out of 20. Again, mine all the rocks as much as you can, if you want to, or if not, it's completely up to you. But we're going to get the second artifact. Um, now, after we have completed this one, so what's going to happen now is we are basically going to go into the main mission, no sudden moves. Now, if you haven't got the achievement for getting a maximum relationship or companionship or whatever with uh, whoever you're going for, um, you need to make a drastic choice. So, no spoilers, but someone's going to die. And obviously, I will explain all as we go on. So, for me, of course, I'm trying to get in. Uh, I'm trying to get in with Sarah because her soulless dead eyes remind me of me. Hello. Um, but... <laughs> Once we have all the things, we will go back to the lodge. Now, after this bit, everyone will start going on to the I ship. That is the point. Now, what I was going to do here was start getting a couple more of the achievements out the way in terms of um, uh, console commanding the skill magazines, console commanding the uh, relationship, etc. I was just going to... Because I know earlier on I said, oh, I'll do some stuff legit, but... Yeah, well, I lied. I'm sorry. I can't be asked. Um, so, after after this whole conversation here with Russian Mr. Motivator, uh, the achievement further into the unknown will unlock, but uh, I should say, if you've done the whole set stage, you skipped a couple of missions thing, 
The achievement won't actually unlock on screen, so just make sure to have a look on, you know, true achievements or have a look on your achievements. But it should unlock, it just doesn't unlock on screen. So, when we get to the eye, like I said, everyone will automatically go onto the eye. You can just go ahead, talk straight to Sarah, uh, give her the wrench, and, um, yeah. <laughs> we suck. We suck at stuff. Anyway, that one is complete. We are on, well, now level 25 since I cheated our way to get to level 24. Uh, so, <laughs> that's level 25. Again, completely up to you, however, however you want to do the levels. If you wanted to just get straight to level 99 and then get to 100... Uh, it's completely up to you. Uh, but we're going to need to find this ship called the Sko, or the Scow. Now, you can either persuade your way on or attack your way on. And now, I managed to persuade my way on, which is great. Um, and you end up having to just go through the ship to find Captain Baldy, Captain Petrov. Now, again, you can either persuade him to um, give us the artifact or let us have a look at the artifact. As you can see here, I failed miserably. So there's two ways to do it now. You can either go into a safe, but it requires, it's a master lock, or you can steal the key of Captain Petrov by either attacking him or stealth pick locking him. Completely up to you, whatever way you want to do it. Uh, I ended up doing it the master lock way, um, purely because we want to be going for the 50 digipicks achievement anyway. So eventually I ended up managing to get it. It took me a good five or six <laughs> minutes to grab this one. So whichever way you want to do it, it's all good. Uh, again, you just have to start heading down and down and down once it's in. Now, again, if you got the persuasion and we got the artifact, that's great. You don't have to fight anyone. You can just crack on. If, of course, you are down here, as you can see, there's going to be a guard that is going to be a little pissed off. And you're going to have to fight your way out. Again, God Mode is coming to the rescue. But if you're not playing on God Mode, just remember or just be aware that you're going to have to do a little bit of fighting to get back onto your ship. Uh, and we have to undock ourselves from the main man. And remember, if you're not sure what docking means, type in docking with man on Google. <laughs> right, so, now, I tried going back to Jemison, but for some reason, I am now a criminal. So, there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either just go away, which we can't do. Or we're going to attack, or we can just pay 500 measly credits. Uh, stolen items... Uh, we'll give back the stolen items, which I genuinely can't remember stealing, but I must have stolen them, so um, take them back. Pay 500 credits, right, there we go. Sorry, god damn it. Right, now we can head back to the lodge. Now we'll press the A button. That'll be no sudden moves complete, so... Um, yes, so... Now we're going to go for the mission, high price to pay. Now this is where the big decision comes, um, sort of comes in. So, obviously, Sarah's on the eye. Sarah is the one that I'm going for the maximum relationship with, but it depends on whoever you're doing. So if you're going for um, Barrett here or Noel or Mateo, you want to stay and defend the lodge. But if you are trying to get a maximum relationship with either Sam Coe, uh, Sarah or Andreja, Andreja, you're going to need to go to the eye. So basically, which, whichever one you go to first, the second place will always have your second best companion will <coughs> smash it up. So your second best companion is going to die, but it depends where you go first. As you can see, we're going to leave uh, because I am trying to get with Sarah's beautiful dead eyes. And basically, all it is, we're just going to go back up to the eye, and we are just going to pick people up. Because Mr. Motivator was talking about lots of bloodshed, but all they'd done was held their belly slightly, go, I just need to get up. So apparently it took us a lot of starship fuel to do that. So once we get back to the lodge, you are going to see your second best companion, Croak. Um, for me, personally, it was Barrett, but whoever it is for you, it doesn't matter. Now, it's, it's me. It's my alter ego. But once we get down to the well here, we're going to see Noel. Now, what you have to do at this point, there is no way that you can beat the hunter. There's a way you can beat the Welsh hunter by being so nice to me. Uh, but there's no way you can beat the hunter. So you basically just have to run now all the way back to your ship and get the hell out of here. Because uh, I did try beating him and killing him, but he basically teleports somewhere else and then his uh, full health regains. So, yeah. So it's the Welsh Hunter versus the Hunter. Who is going to win? 
If you're Welsh, put your hands up. Yay! You can't see me do it, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. But anyway, high price to pay. So it's it's an easy enough um, it's an easy enough thing. Mm, now, what we have to do with this one, we basically have to um, we're going to get something called the armillary. Uh, you, again, you can choose whatever options you want. If you want to attack, that's fine. But, you know, we're, I'm nice. I'm, I'm a nice guy. I will glimpse the unity yet. Not Assassin's Creed Unity, because, unfortunately, that game was garbage. Right, so, off to the eye. Like I said, hopefully, wherever you've gone first, your main companion's going to be alive and well. But, of course, whatever happens, if it, it doesn't matter, if we're doing console commands, we can literally just get... Um, people to fall in love with us at the click of a couple of buttons. Oh, button. Right, so into the eye we go once again. And like I said, so what we're going to grab now is the armillary. Or, uh, really, uh, yeah, armillary. Now, you can either build it on your outpost, but your outpost is going to get attacked. So obviously you'll have to just keep uh, going back and making sure. Or you can put it on your ship, but again, you'll get attacked more frequently. So... Whichever way, you're going to have to get attacked. You're going to be getting attacked more frequently. I just decide to do it on the ship. Uh, the armillary, just, you know, because it makes no difference. And to be honest, I can't be asked flying back to the outpost and, you know, wasting fuel. You know, people, you know, people like fuel and stuff these days and whatever. Meh. Well, they don't want the planet to be destroyed, as it were. And I'm up for all for that, but just don't block motorways. That's all. That's all we ask. So, um, we're going to talk to Matteo now. Uh, basically, we are now going to finish High Price to Pay. Uh, so, again, another bit of an easy mission. Um, and then we are going to start, now that everyone's going to be sort of back in the lodge and everyone's going to be in a chilled mode, chilled-ish, now we're going to start smashing out a couple of uh, a couple of the miscellaneous achievements, or we're going to smash out some more, just so we can start getting through to the end. So, first things first then, what we're going to do is now put ourselves to level 49, because why not? Can't really be asked for that grind. So, uh, what we'll do then, we'll go uh, player dot set level space 49. That'll get us up to 49. Again, I'm only doing it sort of one before, uh, just in case the achievement doesn't actually unlock. Uh, so, I just figure it, it's easier to do it that way. So... Uh, so once we uh, do level 49, what we're going to do now is um, all the skill magazines and get 10 ships as well. Now, the, grabbing the 10 sh ships are going to take a little bit longer than the skill magazines, but hey, that's all good. We, uh, I mean, there's a couple of ways to grab the ships. Um, you can obviously just basically space jack someone and, that, yeah, it'll be added into your thing. But anyway... First of all, then, with the skill magazines, we're going to go player.addItem space 2009DA. And then uh, just put 01 or 10. It doesn't matter because you'll always just get the uh, 1. Uh, so that's 1. Again, now, remember I said I was going to do this legit earlier? Well, I'm sorry I lied to you. I couldn't be asked. So we're going to do it the uh, cheaty console command way. <laughs> so for the second one. So if you're looking for that, there's plenty of other YouTube videos up now. Uh, so, yeah, player.addItem space 212940 space 10 or whatever number. It's up to 10 anyway. Third one is going to be player.addItem 208E90 space 0102, whatever one it's going to be. 10. It doesn't matter. As long as in the uh, top right-hand corner there, you get it. You get some skill added or whatever. Next, player.addItem uh, space 23E972, space whatever number. And then again, for the next one, player dot add item. I'll try that again. There we go. Uh, space 201BD7, space 10. Again, I've put, but again, you can put 01, whatever you want. Next up, player dot add item space two one d zero five a. So that's two one d zero five a space o one or ten. Again, as long as you get the skill bonus acquired in the right 
corner, we're all good. Again, player.add item space 20B B30 space 10 or 1, whatever you want. And then player.add item. And then space 209093 space whatever number. And then next up, I'm figuring out actually, I probably would have been easier to, to have just put a list and then you could have pause and just gone with it that way. Anyway, I've done that with the ship, so better late than never. So, player.add item space 20B4B5 space 10 or whatever number you want. And then player.add item again, of course. And then it's space 200A88. 200888 space number number 10 just keep putting then again player dot add item space 200 9b6 so 200 9b6 space 10 and then we're just cracking on with it so player dot add item space 202 9D uh, D9E sorry so 202 D9E um I put 06 again it it's between 1 and 10 uh, it doesn't matter what you put as long as you get the skills acquired like I said so next player dot add item space 208 D89 so 208 D89 space 01 whatever it is Next up, it is, uh, believe it or not, player dot add item again. Yeah. And this time we're going to go 1FF726. So one Final Fantasy 276 space 01. Uh, I actually got that one wrong. It's, it is 726 rather than 276. So just try that one again. Uh, so 1FF726. There we go. One Final Fantasy, the 726th Final Fantasy game, by the way. Which they probably will be soon. So next up is player dot add item space two zero nine zero nine B space zero one. Uh, we are coming to the end now, thankfully. Uh, player dot add item space two zero nine F B A. So it's not the f uh, female booby. Uh, sorry, no, wrong one. Um, so F B A there, and then next up is going to be two zero A. 924 20A924 space 01. Uh, just a couple more left to do. So player dot add item space 200 98 space 01. Now the achievement should unlock straight away. So if it doesn't, um, I have to add another two. So that's what I'm just going to do here. Uh, for whatever particular reason, it didn't seem to unlock. Uh, but it should unlock straight away. If not, just go into your inventory and just have a look at all the magazines uh, just to be on the safe side if it doesn't unlock. But doing these two should make it unlock. So player.add item space 208D8C. And then I put uh, space 02. And then it didn't unlock, so I went for it. Just one more cheeky little sneaky peeky in the old deaky wiki. Whatever the hell that means is. And it's going to be obviously player.add item. And the last one's going to be 21B050. But for some reason, my editing skills are lacking here. And I've decided to take my absolute t -t 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 time with it. Oh, no, here we go. So, yeah, play, player.add item 21B050 space 02. And that is the one. So, I think it was like maybe 21 or 22 I had to unlock in order for the achievement to be done. But once it is done, and again, if it doesn't unlock, go into your inventory, just have a look through all your magazines, because it does say you've got to read them all, um, even though you just got to sort of look at them. Um, but it should unlock once you've had a look. Once it does, the spinny spin, hooray! So the achievement finally unlocks. Oxygen. Now, what we're gonna do then is start smashing through uh, the ships. Now. Like I said, there are two ways that you can do this. What you can do is obviously um, get just go to any random person's ship and just sit in the pilot seat. So that's how you get a ship to be yours. You literally just have to sit in the pilot seat, take off, 
and that's um, that's effectively it. It's, it the, you do have to register it, which you can do uh, very easy. I'll show you a little bit later on. Um, otherwise, what we're going to be doing then is a little bit of console commanding. Now, the problem is as well with doing it. I say it's a problem. It is a little bit of a problem. So what we are going to need to do when we uh, get a console commanded ship, the entrance is going to be underground. So we'll need to type in TCL to turn collision um, off so we can actually go through the floor and into the uh, ship's entrance. But there's a little bit of a uh, bug at the minute where you can only do it once. So what you have to do is basically get a ship. So first of all, we're going to put player.placeatme space 0000, zero, zero, zero B730. Zero, and that will place the frontier ship um, at you. Like I said, with the TCL, you can only do it once. Uh, and then... For some reason, the game doesn't allow you to do it again. So what you have to do is quit out of the main menu, come back into it, and then it'll work. So there we go. This is always what's going to happen with every ship. So uh, just go underground, underground. You're going to have to go right underground, by the way. There it is. So once you have got that, now also the ship is going to be inaccessible. Now, for some reason, I had the d absolute annoying list and that is a word, annoying list of time in order to get the unlock thing to work. But what you have to do, go into your console command, type in unlock won't work. You actually have to press the A button on your controller or the E button, whatever it is, and make sure that it says door there on your console command. Once it says door, then you can type in unlock, and that is actually what will unlock either crates or doors. Annoyingly, I had a hard time figuring that one out for some reason. But yeah, you've got to toggle it to where it says door or whatever you're pointing at. Then type unlock and then it will unlock the thing that you're unlocking. So once we're into the frontier ship full of absolute uh, garbage and filthiness, we're just going to literally sit in the pilot seat, take off, and that will then count. Not only will it count as another ship in your um, ship's inventory, it'll also count as your... Home ship, um, which again, you can easily swap. You don't actually have to go to like a mechanics or whatever. You can literally just swap out your home ships um, in the uh, ship, in your sort of ship menu. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to be showing you all 10 ships. I will show you exactly what we will be doing, uh, just sort of for the second one and then for the last one to where the achievement unlocks. So, like I said... We've now got our first, well, technically our second ship in our fleet. But the TCL, the collision, uh, doesn't seem to be, or doesn't want to work for whatever particular reason. So, what you can do, now what I ended up doing was actually just getting a couple more planets ticked off. So I went to random planets, because um, of course we need to land on 120 planets, and land on 100, etc. Um, so if you want to do that, you can, but of course we're going to be grinding that out a little bit later on. So, now, what I do is actually, before I get the next ship out, I actually quit out to the, uh, just the Starfield menu. So I saved, quit out, came back in, and then put the ship back in. Um, it just made it a little bit easier. Otherwise, we're going to go player.placeatme space 0002cc6c, and this is the Razor Leaf ship. Um, now, of course, like I said, with the TCL there, it's obviously not going to work. So you do need to quit out. So save, quit to the Starfield main menu, not completely out to your desktop. And then load back in and then the TCL collision will finally work, 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 work. Rihanna's not a jerk, 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 sure, jerk. She's a hot little burp, 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 So, uh... <laughs> yes, that's my song I've just made up, and there's plenty of lyrics like that. You've got Famous and Rich, so I'm going to be doing the goddamn Zoom. So, uh, yeah, it is just a bug in the game at the minute. Uh, whether um, whether Bethesda sort that one out, I don't know, but the runaround, like I said, is to go into your start menu. Go into your start menu. Go on, douchebag. Press the start button again. There we go. So we can quit out. Again, we'll just press A to confirm because that'll save the game. Plus, it'll get us out. And then we can just continue back in and the TCL will work. Sometimes your ship 
may disappear, so that's why I said it's easier to, when you get onto another planet and you find a nice little space, quit out, save, quit out, and then go back into it, and then put the ships in, uh, the ship stuff in, and then it's job done. Right, so what I'm actually going to do now, again, rather than go through the whole ships, because that still took roughly about an hour or so, um, but as we can see, we're back into it now, so the TCL should work. But what I'm going to uh, basically do is just put another seven or eight of these ships um, on a little list. So you can, so instead of um, me doing what i just done with the skill magazines, just pause and then just look at the list there. Um, now, for some reason, sometimes if you're looking at a door and the door toggle icon doesn't still appear on the console command menu, just have a little walk around the door. That's pretty much it, yeah. So sometimes it'll come up, sometimes it won't. Once it's done, again, and you've got door, press unlock, that'll get you in. Um, whoosh yourself up. And then, yeah, so what you're going to then see is a list on screen. So again, it's up to you if you want to follow the list, or if you'd rather just go around uh, space jacking, completely up to you. Um, or if you do find ships that you do find inaccessible, Obviously, just use the unlock trick, and that'll be as good as gold. Completely up to you, but the uh, next list is going to be appearing now in just a little bit. Obviously, like I said, when we do get to another space, uh, another space, another planet, make sure to save, quit, and then uh, keep doing what you're doing. Right, so if you followed the list and you're all good, um, this should be the last one that you can grab. Now, obviously, there's a whole lot more ships, uh, but the only ones I put up with the A-star ranking ones, uh, enough to get you the fleet commander achievement. So once we have unlocked ourselves into the pilot ship, we take off. The achievement will unlock when we get into the old space of life. And congratulations if you've made it this far, um, and <laughs> we are still going. <sighs> yes, this is taking me quite the while to do, kind of looking forward to finishing it now. But anyway, next up then, we are going to get the achievement. I use them for smuggling, and that is just for successfully smuggling contraband. Now, I thought it was going to be a, quite a lot less complicated than I thought. I thought you could just chuck some stuff on your ship and then not be detective and job uh, detected. And job done. But as it turns out, no, we've got quite a few things that we have to do. And chuck something on our ship to be doubly sure. So first things first, what we're going to do is go to the uh, uh, Alpha Tauri. Uh, the central Alpha Tauri. And we're going to go to the planet Gagarin. And we're going to land ourselves on the Gagarin, Gagarin, whatever it is. 
actual landing itself. So, of course, we need contraband. And there's a couple of things that genuinely confused a lot of people, including myself. So when you do get the contraband, the contraband's going to be on your person. So if you try to go to another planet and you don't put it actually in your ship's cargo hold, you will have a 0% chance of evading the scan, you'll get caught, and you'll be super confused. Um, so, yes. <laughs> so we do need to uh, get a... Um, yeah, we need a shielded cargo hold as well. If you haven't got a shielded cargo hold, plus having a space jammer. Uh, also helps as well. So I'm going to be uh, just taking you through all this anyway. So first things first, I mean, you could do it in any order, but we'll just go to the Gagarin landing because there's basically a security checkpoint right here. So it's all good. So we'll just exit the ship. Now what we're going to do is go straight in front of us. There's going to be a little bit of a conversation happening with some security bras. Uh, you can just ignore that. But once we go here, we'll take a right through this door. And then directly on our left, uh, there's the security guard. Don't worry about her, she's all good. But on this second shelf here, you can find some stolen artwork. That does count as contraband items. Anything with like a little yellow, um, a little yellow ting will count as contraband. Um, now you can unlock the two stolen items. There's nothing in there, but it's all progress towards your 50 digipicks. Otherwise, if you're more contraband uh, items, the one at the top there has harvested organs and some heretic varun, heretic items. And again, so that'll be three towards your 50 digilocks. Right, so now you think, right, I'll just nip to another planet, chuck it in my ship's cargo hold, job done. A lot of the time, if you just do that, you're only going to have a, you know, 50% chance. A lot of people seem 57% chance of um, evading the scan and it wasn't working. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the... Um, porridge, the old uh, Parima, th Parima 3 planet, which if you were looking at it from the Alpha Center Tower, it's just to the right. So that is where the Parima 3 is, or uh, well, the Parima planet. So we need to go to Porridge 3. There it is, the Porridge, the third Porridge planet. And we need to specifically go to the Red Mile. So we need to go to the Red Mile Landing, which, as you can see, is clearly on top. So get your buns in there, my huns. So go to Porridge 3. We will travel. And then what we're going to do, we're actually going to find a guy who sh sells ship parts. Um, now, obviously, if you've got... this, In fact, there's another thing we're going to do, because obviously if you've got um, the ship skill or the ship... Uh, I'll show you now, but basically it's the ship interior or whatever it's going to be up to level 4, which we are going to be putting up. Um, then obviously you can unlock a better shielded cargo hold and it's just obviously easier to do it that way. Um, again, if you've got the 10 ships unlocked, you can obviously, um, with the guy that we're going to speak to, we can just register the ships because you have to register the ships in order to upgrade your ship and buy any more, etc. So... Once we're here, then, just go straight through where the big red mile sign is in front of us. Just go straight through there. Tell me you're not going to make us run the red mile. So there's going to be some kind of wheelings and dealings going on. We can just ignore that. Uh, but what we need to do is just go past this first desk here. Hello, lady. And go through the door on the right. There we go. And this is where the happy and um, <laughs> what looks like you really wouldn't want to get married to this guy. Uh, you can say, of course, you can say whatever you want. He doesn't give a crap. So thank you, Lon, actually. He's had a rough life, hasn't he? So what we're going to do... Uh, again, just choose any particular dialogue options you want. Uh, yes, I am kind of sick of your crap, actually. So, what we're going to do, go down to View and Modify Ships. 
And what we will do is whatever particular ship you've got, again, now you can, if you go uh, press X to go into ship builder mode, you can then press the select button in order to register the ship if you need to. So whatever ship that you want to, and again, you can make any ship your home ship at this menu as well. So whichever one it is, I've gone for the Crimson Phantom because it's pretty cool. Um, now, it does already have a shielded cargo hold on it. So if that's the case and it's already got a shielded cargo hold, um, you can just bin that one off or you can keep it on, which is fine. Um, it doesn't particularly matter. Now, again, I've got up to level four on the security um, part. But basically, if you go off the ship, then press the A button and that'll click add. We can go down to cargo and you can find any shielded cargo hold that you've got. Um, so if you want to put a new one on, that's fine. 190 is still a very good score, so if you want to leave it on. Um, like I said, this is the Crimson Phantom ship, so if you want to leave that on, that's fine. If you want to add that one, that's also fine. Uh, we're going to go back to add. We're going to uh, scroll across right bumper to equipment and find the scan jammer. So... Um, you should, I think, be okay to have the multi-frequency scan jammer. So we're going to pop that right in the front of our ship. So that should um, boost you up quite a bit there. So once we are done, we can just accept and carry on. Now, again, remember the last one. Remember not to have the actual contraband items on your person. If you do have them on your person... Um, they're going to see it somehow in your pocket or whatever. So we need to put it into the ship's cargo hold. And the ship's cargo hold, like I said, if you uh, haven't remembered or you uh, haven't played it as long or whatever, it's always to the left of where the pilot seat is. So just to the left, there it is. Now, obviously, because we are having a little cheaty cheat, um, I've obviously, I'll just take all the items it wasn't letting me put any items on board because, as you can see on the bottom left corner, the mass was way too much. So you can either spend time here just pressing the Y button to jettison um, a lot of crap that you don't need. I've obviously collected quite a lot of crap. Or, again, because we're playing on the cheeky little god mode, um, we've got a lot of incumbents to go. So once we've done that, we've just taken them all or whatever you've done. Go into your menu... And now we can put the contraband cash items over. So the harvested organs, the stolen artwork, and the heretic writings. So once they are on board your ship, like I said, make sure that they are aboard your ship. Once they are, you should now be golden as nuggets to crack on and go to uh, New Atlantis. Or try to go to the Alpha, the Alpha Towery. Now... It, this gives me an 89% chance, and it worked first time. Now, if you are a bit worried, of course, you don't want to, <laughs> you don't want to piss anyone off. Make sure to make a manual save. It's always definitely worth making a manual save just before we do this, uh, just in case, like I said, that you do piss someone off, and then you've got to, well, pay off some dudes, and you know we don't want to be doing that, do we? So once we have, so yeah, there's quite a few steps to that rather than just. Get some contraband and see if it works. Like I said, there you go. I've got 89% and that works. So far, it's worked every time. I've gone to a couple of different planets and it's worked every time. So, ta-da! So, there we go. Achievement should unlock once you've done that. And now what we're going to do is... Now, I was wondering about the companion. Now, whoever your particular companion is, right now, we are going to do their personal mission. Um... So, for me, obviously, I've just kept Sarah, because... Now, what again, what I tried doing was setting the um, affinity levels up, but nothing was seeming to work. So, uh, what we ended up doing here, we'll go set, set stage 002. Uh, where are we? 002, C7C11, uh, space 0. That is now going to start Sarah's personal... Um, mission. Now, after this, the friendship and the love gets real straight up. Um, now, again, if you choose to do it this way, you'll actually miss the first conversation dialogue with them, uh, but that's fine. But if you'd prefer just to crack on, uh, we will do that. Again, like I said, the console commands weren't seemingly to particularly be working, so I thought we'll just crack on and get it out of the way. Again, if you don't want to be doing this, 
Um, just fast forward the uh, video by a little bit if you still rather get that legitimately or whatever. Just fast forward the video by sort of five minutes or so. So after you speak to Admiral Logan and we catch a ship to Cassiopeia, what we're going to do, we need to find Sarah's abandoned wreckage. Then we're going to help uh, head up to Sarah's crash site. What looks like a rock is actually some terrifying monster bras. So, uh, I mean, it does come in handy for the killing 300 creatures achievement. So kill, 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 Bill. But... Now, I'm not sure about the rest of the personal missions either, but Sarah's seemed to take a while because, bruh, she was slower than a bra with no legs and no bra, bruh. Right, so once they've been killed, what you need to do then is pick up the power cell. You'll take it back to the ship, and then it'll give you this new notification here in order to f investigate some more stuff's going on. Um, so this is the Dauntless Cruise crash side, Futurama. It's the Planet Express crash side of the old crew. Uh, so basically, just go ahead and follow the uh, the marker, and then what we're going to find is the. Uh, no spoilers, but we're going to find the complete spoiler. The old crew's daughter, who somehow has been managing to survive for a couple of years on her own, even though she only looks like 12 or something. Fair news, because if this was me personally, I would just, I'd just get eaten by a monster. And that's because I'm too lazy to try and survive. So after a bit of conversation, we are going to have another little task that Sarah's going to do. She's going to task us with going to the graveyard. Now, what you're going to find is those big flora flowers. And this is what the graveyard looks like. We basically have to collect nine, uh, well, ten gene tags. Nine are on these uh, supposed grave sites. There should be all nine right here. So just go and grab them. And then what's going to happen is this big land silverfish thing is going to appear. And that is who is going to have the final... Uh, gene tag, there it is. The marker should appear. Now, you're going to hear the scariest of little roars. Ooh, roar. Roar for me, baby. Oh, roar for me. Anyway, it's going to be level 70. It's going to be big, but if you've got a powerful weapon, he'll go down in a matter of, well, minutes. I mean, matter of minutes and matter of seconds because we are playing on the almighty Jeebus mode. So once that one's done, make sure to interact with it to grab the final gene tag. Then we can head back to Sona. Now, what you have to do, again, if you're trying to impress Sarah, what we have to do is try and convince Sona to come back with us. So just say all nice stuff to her. She's worried about your safety. Um, you won't be safe here forever. Just be, you know, really nice, and she'll eventually agree to come back with us. And, yeah, that's not the mission done, though, yet. Still quite a bit to do. Hip, hip, hip. So once you've gone back to the, you need to go back to the Admiral, uh, first of all, have a little conversation with him, and then we can come back to the Lodge. Now, what you're supposed to do, now I've obviously got a booster pack as well by pressing the Y button, which should you should have plenty, actually. If you've been, if you have a look in your inventory, you also get one free from the, from the Lodge here early on in the game. Um, but what you should do is if you've done the in memoriam mission or the the, me the memorial here we go um if you've already done this part sona will speak to you if not she'll just say something like i'm okay just you know chill out bruh uh so go ahead find a bed in the lodge or find a specific bed in the lodge by the way the reason i'm spinning is the industrial achievement unlocked so if you followed what i done a lot earlier on it should unlock either now or it should unlock roughly about the same time but uh, you need to do the memorial. Um, so again, you can just sleep until then. You can say a few words. And basically, after this, you can either speak with everyone or just leave. So what you can just do is literally just leave out the door, come back in. Sona will then be ready to speak to us. Um, and this is what... No, this won't end the mission. You think it'll end the mission, and it won't. So after another little conversation with Sona... 
what you then need to do is take a little walk to the it's like a little campsite and then we need to go up to this waterfall part and then Sarah's gonna finally have a little chat with us and this is where the flirty slash love's gonna crack in crack on crack in hey <laughs> so obviously you're just gonna say stuff like you're not alone you have me I love those dead eyes if you're Sarah none of that is your fault and then if you see any flirting or romantic options make sure to be picking them ones right now or what <sighs> I know you want to have a suit so, if you're willing, you're something truly special. I mean, for the first time in my life, you're the best thing that's happened to me in my life. When things at the lodge are too much, I love coming to this spot to just sort of... Oh, baby, it's love at first sight, dear. I love you. Now love me. Give me a baby. No, I'm just joking, of course. No, no, baby. But anyway, the achievement won't unlock just yet. So what we're going to do, first of all, is go and crack on with the main story. So now we're going to go for the mission in their footsteps, which is set stage space 002 B1138E space 0, because, of course, we're going to start it. Um, now, the main mission that you should be going for first, or not that you should be going for, but what will appear on your main missions is Unity... Um, which obviously you have to do a whole bunch of stuff, but because there's no achievement tied to it and I can't be asked, we're going to crack on within their footsteps. So again, uh, set stage. Now, which companion died? Again, for me, it was Barrett. For you, it could be anyone else. So make sure to pick your companion that died. Once that has died, uh, we are now going to find the Hunter's Ship. There it is. So once we have found the Hunter's Ship, uh, again, it'll be on the blue objective marker anyway. Now you're going to have a... Quite a long conversation with the, the emissary here and the hunter. And then we can finally just crack on with it. But in terms of the maximum companionship uh, achievement, you have to have a few little more conversations as you're going along the game. Then Sarah will ask about marriage and stuff and the achievement should unlock right there. But once you've had a conversation, let us crack on. Hunter versus Welsh Hunter. to another artifact. Seek the moon of old earth. Here. And that'll do, pig. That will do. So that's Cine Footsteps complete. Now, what we are going to be doing, just a little spin to let you know the achievement should unlock here. Now, what we are going to do, we're actually going to just crack on with the next mission, which is Final Glimpses. Uh, this one will eventually go into Entangled, and you will get the achievement for Untangled. Um, but the main reason we're doing this then, of course, is for the Starborn Quantum Essences achievement. Uh, so if you just go straight to Unearthed, you, actually, you will actually miss the Entangled mission. And obviously we need to start killing off a lot of Starborn. But um, I did actually manage to find a way, I did actually manage to find a code in order to get more Quantum Essence, incredibly. Um... Which I thought we couldn't do, but yep, I managed to uh, grab one, so uh, kudos to, I found it on Reddit somewhere, so kudos to whoever popped that one in, uh, where we can basically get more Quantum Essence, so we'll uh, talk through that in just a little bit, but if you wanted to do it right now, it's um, player.setav space Quantum Essence, and then space however many that you want. Uh, but for now, for this mission then, it's just a lot of sort of walking and talking around. You have to uh, grab a new ship there if you haven't uh, had one. And then when you get to the uh, solar system, whichever one we were off to, we, this mission is long and it is slightly confusing as well. So uh, for a minute, we start talking with Evan, the security guard, and then we keep jumping in and out of um, alternate realities right here. Um, and then effectively, so in one reality, you're going to be finding this guy, Robert, and in this reality, everyone else died, and then in our reality, I'm sorry, I had to show you that bit as well, that's funny, because everyone's just crapped their pants, run, run, but yes, in this reality, or, well, the reality we were just in, Robert dies and everyone else lives, so just be aware, of course, there we go, I managed to get to level 50, of course, um, I, that was about as legit as a chocolate condom, 
I uh, just yeah not that good at all uh, but <laughs> so that should unlock somewhere and then a little bit later on again after a lot more walking and talking we are going to start finding these oh, well I say start finding we know what the anom anomalies are look like now this is kind of a puzzle in this mission as well so effectively what we're going to do now in order to get to um, different places in each reality we have to go through each anomaly um, which can be confusing it can be a bit of a pain in the butt the distortion the anomaly whatever you want to call it we'll call it the distortion then fine I will do that so it can be slightly confusing but again that's all we're going to do so th this mission now is effectively going to different parts in the lab and for some reason in the uh, normal reality you can't just uh, beep through a button and have a pass card no you got to go through each one and yeah it's just a pain um so yeah so obviously if you want to do some exploring that's great if not then that's also great too so if you do get confused just look out for the little distortions and that'll put you into new slash the same area but places we can actually get by so uh there's a couple of open doors here on the right as you can see now on to my left and then we'll be picking up the... And somehow, uh, I've got to go into an alternate reality to grab a key card, which surely there should be one in the uh, normal reality. But there we go. So this is effectively what this level is now. We've got to go and override a lot of things. I think it's like three or four different computers we've got to go. So it's literally a case of going through each distortion, getting that one. There's a couple of master, master doors that you can um, bypass if you want to just get through quickly, um, which I ended up doing. Um, and then it's a case of, hello, distortion, I'm coming inside you, oh, getting through, coming in you, I'm going in you again, that's, uh, well, that didn't work out too well, now, did it? Uh, anyway, again, look out for these scorpion things, they are kind of sons of biatches, if you were playing legit, which since we're not done, we've got God mode on, ha, <laughs> man, they're easy. Ah, uh, they're as easy to put on as a normal condom. Why am I talking about condoms so much? Anyway, uh, moving on then. And in fact, actually, what we're going to do here, I'm going to set ourselves to level 99, because why not? Let's treat ourselves as it. So player.set level 99. Yeah, let's just let's treat ourselves. It's nice. It's nice. So as you are moving on through the mission again, annoyingly, they got these secure access doors, which have literally no point but now we've got the key card we can go through the next distortion and we can finally make it here again it can be slightly confusing and a slight bit of a, a slight bit of a pain to be honest it kind of seemed to go on took me about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes or so i think to complete this one but eventually you're going to start fighting some big ass robots as well some big ass robots and then eventually this is the point where we can choose to either save Robert or save the director and 30 other people. Um, now, again, there is a way that you can save both realities and get Robert all squared away, but eh, it's on YouTube somewhere, but I know that you can do it. So it depends what you want to do for this one anyway. You can either go into the normal reality with robots and shut off all seven switches. Otherwise, um... Yeah, or you can save Robert, or you can reset the mission and try and save both. Uh, completely up to you. Now, I just decided to save all 30 people because it's all good, so go around. I mean, Robert's mustache and beard was glorious, and that is one I aspire to have one day. Not that I'll ever get it, not with these ginger little spider legs on my face. Um, but, yeah. So, once you have clicked in all seven buttons, uh, this laser can crap the hell out of you. There it is. Uh, shut it down. And everything will be shut down, Robert will die, or whichever way you've decided to do it, the other people will die. Otherwise, it's all good. We'll grab the artifact anyway. And that is as good as good. And this is actually where the entangled achievement will unlock. There we go. So, uh, once we've gone and spoken to Director Patel, the achievement will now unlock. Uh, again, doesn't matter which dialogue options you choose because you're not trying to juicy Lucy romance her, are you? Nah, it's Sarah. Sarah, we love you. Right, so Entangled unlocks and then we can actually crack on now. Go to the next planet to finish off final glimpses. 
and it's actually getting the next artifact. Um, now, what's happened here is as well, Sarah eventually will still talk to you about doing the In Memoriam mission. Now, obviously, if you've done it with me earlier on, obviously, it won't appear. Um, now, I was, I was wondering if it was going to sort of bug out, but luckily, it hasn't. So... Um, obviously, we talk about it. You can have a look in your quests, but if you already completed it like me, it's not going to be there. Um, obviously, anytime she talks to you, remember to just make you laugh and do all nice stuff. Um, but eventually, she will talk to you about marriage and stuff. But for now, anytime she does talk to you again, obviously, flirt, romance, get your diggity diggity dog inside that biggity biggity bog hole. Hmm. Well, I'm not quite the charmer I thought I once was. Uh, but yeah, so don't worry if she does uh, talk to you about the mission and everything like that. Uh, because we've technically done it earlier, it's all good. Um, so, yep, just carry on as normal. And again, that's another reason why we're doing the missions now in order, the last couple of final missions. Because we are wanting Sarah to talk nice to us and propose marriage to me. Right, so if you are part of the Crimson Fleet, you can get into the next part without having to fight anything. So you can just come straight down, kill this Starborn. That's going to be another Quantum Essence in our back pocket. Grab the artifact. And actually, one other thing I should say. Um, in terms of the 500 inorganic resources where we have to pull the rocks. Um, if you go into your powers and choose an, a power called Elemental Pull... Basically, you press the left bumper, right bumper together, and it just sucks all the rocks uh, into you. Hmm. <laughs> it just puts all the rocks in you with uh, within touching distance, so you don't have to mess around with the cutter, cutting 500 rocks off. So, uh, yes, so elemental pull is a very good one there. So, once that is done and dusted, now... Or in just a bit, we're going to crack on with Unearthed. But what we're going to do now is recruit 10 different companions. Now, we are at the, we are at the spaceport on Jemison in the Alpha Tauri. That's a Formula 1 car. Uh, now, what we need to do then is go to the viewport. So it should be right in the middle of this area, uh, to, to your right. Now, we're going to recruit three different companions here. Um, you don't have to have them on your crew, but basically you should already have four, which would be um, obviously the four main ones in Sarah, Sam, Barrett, and Alejandra, or Aled Andreja. That's the one. So those four should be good. Plus Vasco the robot as well. So that should already be five, which means if you haven't done back to Vectera, um, we just need another five. And f like I said, three are going to be found here. So all you need to do is just talk to them. And uh, pay the credits. Again, as long as you do have the credits. Now, if not, uh, let me just have a little uh, little cheeky look at my wout right here. So, there's, there's loads more anyway. So, if you did manage to save Raphael in the Entangled mission, you can actually save, uh, get him as well. Otherwise, there is two on the planet Neon, two on Cydonia. If you select the hero worship trait, um, there's an adoring fan who keeps appearing. You can hire him or her as well. Um, also, if you want more free ones, if you do the Back to Vectera mission, which of course we haven't, uh, you can also get Supervisor Lynn and Hella as two more companions as well. So if you need to get them um, without having to pay, you can grab them as well. Otherwise, like I said, we're going to grab these three. And then we're going to go to the uh, to Aquila City on Cheyenne, which is from Alpha Tauri, just up to the right. So we'll go to the Cheyenne planet and then Aquila City. And then in the first bar in the right is called the Hitching Post, Omari and Rosie. So once you have gathered those two and chucked a couple of credits their way, the family you chose achievement, or the family you choose achievement, sorry, should unlock. You should ask Sam about Aquila sometime. He has some pretty amazing stories to tell.
welcome to just hang out if you want. Some come here to drink, others for the company. Everyone's welcome. Um, excuse me, is your ship in need of a do- Really? That's great! Oh, thank you! I need to gather some supplies before we leave. Right, that's bang tidy there, lads. Well done, well done, lads and lasses. Unbelievable performance today. Uh, I.e., congratulations on getting the achievement very, very easily, thanks to a crap ton of credits we got. So, uh, also, by the way, you don't need to put them on your crew, just as long as you've hired them in some way, or uh, shape, or form. They don't actually have to be on your ship. So, that's 10 done. Now, what we're going to do, um, we're going to get the 50 locks achievement complete. Now, the easiest way that we're going to do this is go to the Vanguard Simulator, again on Jemison. And then, uh, obviously, just not yet. Obviously, what you, if you're going to do it legit and sort of go around planets and do a bit of exploring, you will get it, you know, eventually anyway. But if you want to get it the sort of easier way without having to do a lot of exploring, again, go to the Vanguard Simulator, jump in here. Then what you're going to do is immediately jump out. So just press the B button here to uh, hold it. B button to back out. Excuse me, exam producer, simulator, Samuelson. Shut up. And Emma, get the hell out of my way. Uh, go on to the um, simulation controls. Go to debug tools. Go down to authorized users only. And then you're going to hack the advanced lock. Once you have hacked that... Exit the simulator, go back in, and then just continue doing that until the achievement unlocks. Now, there may be a slight chance that um, this method sort of gets patched in the future. Otherwise, again, sadly, it'll be a case of then just having to um, do a little bit of exploring. Um, but hopefully they do keep it going, and you can just crack, uh, keep doing this until the 50 have unlocked. And then we're actually going to crack on then with Unearthed. In fact, no, we're not going to crack on with Unearthed because when we get outside, this is where I'm actually going to show you again the Quantum Essence. Uh, now, I did mention it earlier. So again, just keep exiting and keep doing it until the 50 Digilocks achievement unlocks. Next, we're going to do the Quantum Essence. Now, because I already had three, I thought I would add 16 to make it 19, but it doesn't do that. It just adds however many you've wanted in. Also, now, again, the only reason I'm doing this now is because I found this one a little bit later on. Um, I tried looking for starborn enemies to kill, um, but it was literally just a case of, well, I just found this. So player.setAV space quantum essence, and I put 16 because I thought... It was going to put me to 19, and I thought if I kill one more, then the achievement will unlock. That's not the case. So put in as many Quantum Essence as you want. If you want to put 19 and then kill one Starborn enemy uh, to get the achievement. Be aware, though, that it did take me probably get into around 25, 26 Quantum Essence doing it that way for the achievement to unlock. So I'm not sure if you need to kill another, you know, five between five and ten. But for me, again, like I said, I done the quantum essence, put sixteen down after about, oof, after about eight or nine, I think, killing quantum essences, uh, killing starborn enemies, then the achievement unlocked. So just be aware of that. So another slightly long mission then coming up is uh, unearthed. So effectively, what we have to do is head to the moon. And uh, Steve Carell as Gru has still been trying to catch the moon, but he can't. Not with my ass on it. So effectively, all we're doing for this bit, then there's no enemies. You're literally just going to go around looking at different computers. And there's going to be a part where we're going to be up on the roof and we're going to be chilling while we listen to a couple of recordings. And yes, after this part, now we have to fly to Earth and fly to NASA. And uh, NASA's, uh, well, it's 
It's not the best. It's not the best. But again, again, I mean, it's looking all smashed up. So again, no enemies just yet, but we are going to have to do small, slight little puzzles such as this. So you're going to push it, push the button. It's going to have no power. So you're either going to need to find a couple of power, one power cell that is usually uh, hidden by, or find another switch that has power, which directs that power to the other power, and then the power can power on. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's that's pretty much it for the time being. And then eventually we are going to get to the point where we find the artifact. Now this is it. Um, so once we've done this and we've got the big old chunky artifact out, we then need to go and find the artifact and that is where the Starborn will appear. And again, that's why I've said any missions, especially like, because um, we're going to get the achievement unearthed for completing unearthed. The next achievement, or uh, the next mission called Revelations doesn't have an achievement tied to it, but we're going to do it purely for the Starborn, and again, just waiting for Sarah to be all like, Oh, I love you, please give me marriage. <sighs> because that's how all English people sound. No offence, English. Uh, so, now, from... <laughs> so, basically, from where we were, um, to find the artifact, we actually need to fly up. So, at this point, you can press the Y button to float up, and the B button to float down. So we're going to float all the way up. I'm just showing you this part because for some reason it took me a while to uh, find. So we'll go to the right, drop down the stairs, jump over. And right at the end is where we get the artifact. Now what we're going to do then is just, again, now effectively fight our way out. Um, there's going to be four or five Starborns, which you should get. Um, I think it's five Starborn enemies here actually, which you'll get another five Quantum Essence um um, quantum essences, <laughs> anyway, so you're just literally heading out of the building and grabbing the quantum essence on the way, killing, so again, make sure not to run past the starborn enemies, we are going to need to kill these off until we get the War of Angels achievement for collecting that 20 quantum essences. Once we have fought our beautiful awareness out, the emissary there and the hunter is going to be here. Now, this is uh, basically a choice. You can either side with the emissary, the emissary, sorry, do I keep saying that wrong? The emissary, the em, the em, the I'll just call him m, &M. So m, m you can either choose m, m or you can side with the hunter. Now, um, I'm not sure sure which ways now obviously what i do is actually side with uh, slim shady here the old m m and then we have to do the revelations mission and have a big old fight with a lot of uh starborn which then should get you your quantum essence achievement to unlock so i'm not sure if you uh if you do side with the hunter um I assume Revelations will still still appear, but anyway. So we choose m, m Level 100 will unlock, as does Unearthed. In fact, Level 100 doesn't unlock here. Unearthed unlocks here. Um, now, once we have gone to Chicken Tika Masada, um, we are going to have a little fight with the Hunter and two other ships, so just be aware of that. And again, depends on how many planets that you've landed on or um, star systems you've vis visited, but I get the tw stellar cartography achievement when I land here after completely after killing these guys for visiting 20 star systems. But again, I haven't worried about that because I'm going to put a whole list of planets to land on. And we got again, we're going to get that specific achievement the slightly cheaty way. <laughs> so, uh, again, this is the big. Missions, a whole bunch of Starborn are going to appear, and we're going to have to kill them all dead. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> uh, just be aware, though, that not all of these drop Quantum Essence. Some do, some don't. So if um, if you're wondering why some don't, I don't know. They just don't, so don't panic about it. Uh, so, you, again, it's going to be a couple of uh, sort of places with... So you're going to get this one part where it's going to be a big fight into the next part where it's going to be another fight, but this time we are going to be shooting... It's basically going to be different types of guardians. So this one's going to throw epileptic soldiers at you. You know, the epileptic. Yeah, these guys. 
So it's going to be a case of killing these, finding the next guardian, and shooting him deader than a dead thing in Deadland. And then, oh, hey, cheer, cheer, cheer. Thank you very much. So there we go. So I managed to get a quantum essence from him, but the achievement still hasn't unlocked. Uh, so drop down, and after shooting, basically what we're actually going to do now is just kill the guardian here, kill the starborn guardian, get rid of all the turrets, and then eventually, once we have found the way in, um, one of the missions, one of the activity missions will say that you need to talk to Sarah. Now, this is the conversation that we have where she goes, where we can ask her for commitment and marriage. And then she goes, oh, I'm going to sort stuff out in a few days. So we are going to finish this mission. And then what we're going to do is actually, well, eventually we, after all this mission, I'm going to go to bed. And, uh, yeah, we'll get married, and hopefully, fingers crossed, the achievement should unlock. So, again, just as long as you're just carrying on and still being nice to Sarah, even after the she has the in-memoriam talk with us earlier on, she should still come out with this conversation a little bit later anyway. But, again, when the commitment sign comes up, make sure to be... <laughs> that's why you fell in love with me, because I said your father sucks. Cool! Well, it's that easy to fall in love. So, there we go. Commitment. Now she's going to be... I mean, we've just had a big, massive battle. I don't think you'd be dreaming too much at this moment. Let's be honest. A little tiny thing about the ceremony. Now, girls, do you need a long time to think about the ceremony? Just just let me know. I, I assume so, but, you know, let me know. So, anyway, this is the battle before we find the hunter. You're going to have to fill up... Kill, <laughs> that wasn't me killing Sarah because she's getting already annoying about the wedding. Uh, nope, we just need to kill duplicates, and once we have killed duplicates and uh, the main guardian, we will now come into the main room with the hunter. Uh, also, by the way, for me, the War of Angels for collecting 20 Quantum Essence unlocked in the previous room, so hopefully it has done for you as well. Once you speak to the hunter, you can literally just say plus one to him. You can just persuade him, which of course Sarah will want to just sit on your head and ride you like a turkey. Um, <laughs> but, yep, yeah, you can easily persuade him. Not sure if the plus one will work every single time, or you can attack him. It's completely up to you. Um, but, yeah, so if you want to avoid a fight there and avoid a couple of deaths, you can just persuade him. Once you've speak, spoken to Eminem, the Eminem emissary, the emissary, whatever, go ahead and grab the artifacts and everybody happy. Yes! Level 100! Look at that! For some reason, people are complaining about needing to grind loads. <laughs> oh, they should have waited until this video come out. Uh, no, so that's, again, it depends what you've wanted to do with the levels. You could have uh, done it the legit way or whatever. But anyway, that's where level 100 uh, unlocked for me. Also, um, now, I managed to finally find a way in order to get the um, secondary missions, the faction missions, to appear. I was looking for absolutely ages, couldn't find any online. So what you need to do is type in help, obviously help space UCO6, which will be the sixth Vanguard mission um, for the devils you know. Because again, you can go through all the faction missions if you want, but I don't want to. So, uh, so that's what you need to do. You type in help space, whichever uh, faction it is, and then whatever number mission it is. Um, and then... Uh, yeah, <laughs> and then you obviously need to put in set stage slash whatever it is. So we're going to go ahead and get the Sarah marriage out of the way. Now, there was a few bumps in the road in terms of the side quests. Uh, some would appear and we could finish it straight away. Some wouldn't. So, yeah, we're in a bit of a, uh, we're in a bit of, bit of a sticky situation right there. But what I am doing now, and again, this is up to you if you want to do this, but I'm basically just going to head back to the lodge. I'm going to sleep for quite a while because, you know, apparently to get married, you just need a couple of days rather than this whole, you know, months and months of preparation. Bruh, just get a couple of days, go to the beach, get married. It's a win-win for everyone. Uh, so that's what I'm just doing, trying to see if I can just speed up the process. So again, you can do this if you want. Uh, but what we're going to do 
after this is just carry on with um, all the particular side missions that we've got. So the first one will be the Devils You Know. Uh, and again, we're just going to carry on until Sarah eventually goes, Let's get married now. I like it. Oh man, she looks miserable when she's sleeping. Damn, that was a face. Not as bad as my Maltese head. But anyway, um, once we have had a little uh, nap in the lodge, we're going to go to the Devils You Know. It's still on Jemison, and we're going to speak to Vi Victus. Now, the faction uh, the faction missions are generally not that long, and they're not that difficult either. Or even more less difficult, um, since we're playing on God Mode. He wants you to go and shoot this broski down. So that's what we're going to do. The Warlock! The Warlock is no more! So once you've collected a couple of things, after you've shot him deader than a dead thing, we're going to head back to Ve Victus. Oh, in fact, actually, no, what I've done first, and again, again, just trying to speed it up a little bit. So if you want to, just have a little word with your companion, see if you can flirt, see if you can romance, you know, be all a bit of a giggity 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 goo. And once that's done, if you want, if you've wanted to do that, now we can just head back to Vivictus. Um, he's basically in the elevator. So where the tram is right there, he is, if you just go down to the elevator and he is going to be right here. So again, quite an easy one. That's job done. Now in, and there we go. So that's the devils, you know, now I was doing these before there's a very recent update, um, before I was able to finish it. Um, so now what we're going to do is actually put on help, uh, Zero uh, help UC09. Um, and then basically, what we're going to do, we're going to go for a legacy forged, which is we're going to put set stage 001 FC858 and then zero so we can start it. Now, also, if you just wanted to complete the mission straight away, if you go to um, SQS and then type in the quest ID, so if you wanted to go to uh, SQS 001 FC 858 Have a look at the very bottom number it'll, It should say something like not set And then it'll have the last number Which will be the 1000 or 1200 Whatever If you type in the quest ID and then that last number That should or that usually will End the mission straight away And you'll get the achievement popping straight away That's if you don't want to do it Otherwise a legacy forge You basically have to speak to Vi Victus Come up here um, and that'll be the achievement done. Obviously, it takes a while because there's a lot of talking. But that's if you want to just end the mission. Um, yeah, like that. If you want to end the mission, just like that. Right, now we're going to go for the next one, which will be Surgical Strike. So what we're going to type in is set stage 001 F0266. And again, if you want to, if you'd rather not go through the mission, um, type in SQS, then 001 FO266, find the last number, it should, again, should say not set, and whatever number it is, it might be 1000, 1100, type the quest ID, type that last number in, and then it'll unlock straight away, otherwise what you need to do is go to the big clinic ship, uh, try and persuade this broski to let us in the VIP wing, the old Viparoonie. But he's not going to let us in the old Viparuni. So if he's not going to let us in, just go to his office. There is going to be a safe just behind his desk. So we'll just get a little digi digi widgy widgy pickety pocket in, in there. And that'll get us the VIP card. Now, as I was saying, there was a recent update. So I don't know if the update had changed some of the console command settings or something. But I physically, for, for whatever reason, I tried a whole bunch of numbers. This was specifically for the quest, the hammer fall, the best there is. Um, and whichever the last Crimson Fleet one is, it just was not working at all. So if that happens, of course, it's just a case then of having to just obviously go through all of the faction quests. You know, it's all good. It's, <laughs> it's all good. So no worries. Uh, but for... Anyway, but for this one, Surgical Strike, again, you're just going to be going through this abandoned mine. You get, there's a lot of high-powered robots and high-powered enemies and stuff here. Uh, so when we get down into this room, which will be the last one before the big boy, 
you're basically going to go into this back room, pull the door, head down. Now, in this room, there is a lot going on in terms of a lot of high-powered robots, plus some turrets, which they're not turrets, they are death machines. Austrian death machine. See? Look, there he is, just at the top, shooting one Sparky Boy at us. A continuous source of Sparky Boy, which, of course, without God Mode on, that would pinch ya a bit. Uh, but if you don't care about killing these enemies, uh, we're just going to head all the way up. Basically, there's a tower right in the middle of the room. Head all the way up. Now you're going to shoot my uh, butt reeks. I mean, my uh, cruise. Sorry. My, uh, me, I'm on a cruise. I'm sorry. That's very stereotypically bad. I'm so, I'm so sorry. Not, not to cancel me, no? Uh, so you can either kill her here if you want, but either way, she's going to give us a slate. Um, now, for whatever reason, I went tried following the blue marker downstairs and there was no elevator to be seen it's because it's just behind her in this room which was bloody annoying <sighs> yeah so i think it took me about 10 minutes before i realized there's no elevator downstairs which is grande so um i did get the activity here to be talking to sarah now this is where she's going to say now oh yeah it's all good bruh let's get married and stuff i want Adja. Um, but again, it depends on, you know, she might have already asked you, you might have already been married to your companion, you might, it, it might still take a little while yet. Since apparently some of the console commands are not going to be bloody working for, again, I'm not sure why, uh, I, I typed the correct console command in, but just nothing would happen on screen. So again, I'm not sure on that, so that would be me having to play the rest of the, um, side missions, the faction quests, legitimately. But anyway, like I said, eventually, at some point, she will start talking about it, and then it's all good. She's going to send an, a message to Aya, Aja. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, we are obviously going to be finishing Surgical Strike first, just before we go ahead and get tied down for the rest of our life. I done with a rock. Anyway, yeah, just go back to Aquila City, speak to Alex, and the achievement there, Surgical Strike, should unlocked. Um, so, yeah, happy days. Getting through the side quest quickly, but not quickly enough. Uh, you know, we can't complain. We've done well with console commands. It's only fair that we play the game a little bit semi-legitimately. So, we need to go to the Porridge Planet, Parima. We need to go to Porridge 2, and we have to find Paradiso. And it gets a, it's a lovely little area, nice and chilled. So eventually, when once you have jumped there, you're going to go and find Aja on the beach. You're going to get married, be all like, oh yeah, this is all so cute. And then finally, the achievement Star Cross for reaching maximum companionship with a companion will finally unlock. Finally. So, after we've done this then, now I tried getting the Ryujin Industries mission guilty parties to start or to finish or to anything and I just, for whatever reason again, I just couldn't do it. It was the same with the, the hammer that falls, um, whichever one it is, the hammer falls, yeah, just absolutely couldn't get them working for whatsoever. But for executive level then, we go set stage space 001. 8B717 Space 1 to start the mission. Um, this is basically the final Ryujin Industries mission. So, yeah, for whatever reason, I mean, hopefully this works for you, but if not, I don't know. Because again, I tried getting lots to start and I tried, and some did and some didn't. Anyway, for this mission, all you got to do is literally go to each board member, the seven to have a little chat with. Then you will have to wait for everyone to arrive. Once you have waited for everyone to arrive, something big is going to happen. Masako here will be all like, You are so super cool. Oh my God, look at that bulge. I'm just joking. Um, but she will be very impressed and the executive level will unlock. Or the executive level achievement will unlock, rather. So, a few more things uh, what we're going to do then. So... Now, what I do advise is, if you can, just try and finish up, or if you want to, whatever, it's completely up to you. But basically, um, because we've done the Ryujin Industries 
faction, we now get the uh, use of the terminal in our very own office. Now, remember, you've got 30 terminal or miscellaneous achievements to do. Um, so if you got, obviously, by now, you should be well aware. If you press start and go to, or go to missions, and you can see some miscellaneous missions already up. And it'll be the same with these terminal ones. Now, remember, we've done some in uh, Aquila City as well. Um, but what you actually can do, what might make this easier for you as well, is uh, if you get a ship that has passenger space, the default ship uh, from your start has it. Um, but basically, if you, you need to... You need a ship that has a module that basically falls into the either the all-in-one berth, the living quarters, or mess hall class. Uh, they basically grant two passenger slots each, so that makes it easier But there. But you can also get mission boards in cities, obviously colony settlements, shipyards, and even some civilian settlements as well. Um, so usually it is stuff like either hack something or kill some people. Depends what you're good at. I mean, if you're on god mode. You can, well, you can do whatever you want, right? Uh, so, yeah, once you have the 30 complete, again, there's no quick, sure, quick fire way of doing that. That's going to be slightly a little bit grindy. Um, but, again, it depends how you want to do it. It's the easiest one to do. And it's the same with the activities. Now, without even trying to do any activities, I've managed to complete 18. And as you can see, a lot of them right there are just talk to certain people. So... Doing the activity should take no time at all. Again, I managed to get 18 without even trying. So getting to 30 should be nay but a bother but a problem. But again, in terms of the terminal and miscellaneous missions, it's literally just a case of doing off the term terminals. They are, you know, they're quick in itself anyway, which is fine. But there's no, like, console commands to smash through that one, unfortunately. Right, so, going to get a couple more miscellaneous achievements now. We're going to go for the Rock Collection achievement. That is for gathering 500 inorganic sources. Now, there is a planet called Grimesy, which purely just reminds me of Frank Grimes from The Simpsons. Um, or you can go to Alpha Tauri, Alpha Centauri, and go to the planet Bondar, which is basically uh, the fake Bender. It's Bondar Rodriguez, or Rodriguez. Bondar, Bondar, Rodrogos. That'll do. Anyway, it's on the self um set the Alpha Tauri planet. And it's basically just full of rocks. So, what obviously what we're going to be doing is just put yourself anywhere. Um, you know, it doesn't matter where you are. Obviously, if you're further away from enemies and stuff, then you have a nice, easier time of this. Sometimes you might have to do a little bit of fighting, as you can see there. But once you get onto the planet, there is literally loads of rocks. So make sure you've gone into your powers and make sure that elemental pull is on. And use a quantum essence in the bottom left-hand corner there. Press the X button to use that. That basically gives you unlimited power for 60 seconds. And since we've got plenty of that, it's all gravy-making, baby gravy-making. So yeah, like I said, plenty, literally plenty of rocks about. So this took me less than 10 minutes. I was on about 100 odd. And within less than 10 minutes, I managed to get to over 500. So uh, this is a nice one. Thank you to the Elemental Pull. And I bet a lot of guys wish they had this power for a night out. I am the Elemental Pull. But instead, all they're doing is uh, pulling their own porker at the end of the night. Well, <laughs> we've all been there, haven't we? Sad, sad times. Slash exciting times. Anyway, once you have finally got this one, again, like I said, took around 10 minutes, less than that, which is nice. Uh, that one should be done. And then we're going to be doing a little few more little bitty console commands. Now, in order to get the 300 bugs killed, or 300 creatures killed, and the 300 human enemies killed. Because uh, it saves you having to just go and replay a level, replay a level, etc, etc. So, once the achievement has unlocked, uh, which won't be yet because I still need five more. Which is not annoying in the slightest, of course. Hip, hip, hip. We are going to be getting a lot of coral bugs. Now, what I should say is, with the coral bugs, make sure that you get about 300 in. Basically, because once they start, some will attack, but a lot will scatter off. And also, whoever your companion is, 
will start shooting them as well. So yeah, just be wary of that one. But you need to put player.placeatme 00398BD1. Now I put 200, which wasn't enough. I needed to put 300. So if your PC can handle it, and you'll know when you've done it right, when the whole bunch of writing pops up there, and then you can just go nuts. Now, obviously, getting a lot of these enemies at once did slow the computer down, did slow the game down quite considerably, um, but it shouldn't be too much of a bother. Um, so, yep, just kill as many as you can. Now, for some particular reason, I tried to get more with the console command, and again, nothing happened. So, in the end, I had to get some... I had to... Uh, type in help siren, which is one of the creatures, uh, the big boys. So if you, don't know if you want to, just in case, but you can have some sirens, which is player dot place at me space zero zero two zero B seven nine six. Um, now I put 50 to be on the safe side. Not, didn't realize just how big these chunky steroid infused douchebags were, but at least all these ones want to attack you and don't run away like those coral bags. Douchebergs. Um, so yeah, if you were put 300 for the coral bugs, that should hopefully give you plenty enough to kill them all and get the achievement that way. Uh, but eventually, once you've killed more than 300 creatures, ta-da! Achievement unlocks again. Now, let's go for a couple of enemy kills. So, player.place at me again. Space 0018E458. Now, you can either put... 200 to 300 now I put 300 to be on the safe side but as you're about to witness oh I did not like that oh I did not like that but look at them all now of course remember because if you have been playing on god mode the same as me obviously as you've probably noticed you get unlimited um unlimited ammo so if you get um, a lot of these easy epileptics out now this, the, the, by the way, these are not digs at epileptics. It's, they're called echocleptics, but I can't say it properly, so epileptics it is. So you can just keep slamming some grenades at them, and then eventually all 300 should be gooder and deader. So, now it is completely up to you. Now I've just decided to go and finish the main story, go into uh, one giant leap. So we just go to our ship, we add the artifacts to the armillary, and then we just jump on, use the grav jump. It's always worth, obviously, keeping making manual saves. So before doing this mission, make a manual save because once we have done this mission, it starts us off in New Game Plus, but we lose all our activities. We we keep our levels and stuff like that, but we lose our weapons, we lose our activities, factions, everything. So you basically start in the game again, but with your uh, whatever level that you decided to go on. So it is quite important there just to make... A manual save, so if you just want to get this one out of the way, or if you want to... Uh, you can obviously get this out of the way, and obviously what I'm going to do then is have to reload an earlier save, which is where we were with the devil, uh, devils you may know. Or you can just carry on uh, doing the faction missions and doing everything until we get to the very end. Uh, again, completely up to you how you want to do it. I've just decided to do this now. Now, there is one more thing for the, basically the final two achievements that we're going to grab, which is la uh, visiting 120 solar systems and landing on 100 planets. Now, again, I'm not sure if this was due to the update, but before, you could type in the quest, land on planet, type in the planet you wanted to land on, and you'd land on it. Now, again, for whatever reason, for me anyway, it didn't seem to be working, so that's just going to have to be the final grind that you're going to have to do. Um... Which is, again, a bit of a pain. Not sure why, but... Tis life, tis life. But at least it's a, an easy grind. But anyway, here we go. Old handsome bollocks here. That's me. Or it's supposed to be me, but... I've just got ginger pube spider legs on my uh, face. Rather than a nice, full, luscious beard. Which is just disgusting. But anyway, this is the end. So obviously you'll get the one giant leap achievement after this one. And then again... Uh, however, however way you've done the game up to this point, you can either just reload a manual save to go back to your original one, or you can start New Game Plus, but, uh, yeah, unless you really, really love the game, there's no point! Hooray!
What a beautiful way to end the day and end the game. So anyway, after the credits have rolled, you will be into New Game Plus. You'll basically start on the ship where it'll say, Hey, congratulations on completing the game. How about you do it all again, but with your main level? And we're going to be like, bruh, bruh, really? Bruh. So that's exactly what we're not going to do. Now, at this point, again, I tried just smashing out uh, some and the remaining bits of side quests. And again, absolutely nothing was working apart from guilty parties this time. So I don't know what I did and I don't know how I done it. Because it wouldn't work in my original in the original game, uh, so I put SQS of course zero zero one e e zero c eight. Had a look at the final number there, like I said earlier, with not set. Then I just typed it in again, so set stage zero zero one e e o c eight with the final number and the achievement finally unlocked. And then I again I tried to do it with the final three side missions that I've got, which is the Hammer Falls, the best there is, and Legacy's End. And again. Nothing worked, man. Nothing worked. So it's looking like if the console commands for these side faction missions are not working for you, you're going to have to uh, just go through them legit, which should be fun, especially on God Mode fun. But if you have been following this walkthrough so far, again, what you should just have left now, depending on how it's gone for you in terms of the side missions, the faction missions, like I said, I've got... The three faction missions left, myself personally. And then, of course, I've got boots on the ground for landing on 100 planets, different planets they've got to be, and visiting all the star systems. Now, again, like I said, um, normally you could either put in COC like you could on the Skyrim, uh, Skyrim and Fallout, COC, put in a place, you'd go straight there. Again, for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be the same with Starfield, unless somebody has found something different, which hopefully, if that's the case, then put it in the comments below so everyone can uh, have a great time with that one. But again, at the time of this recording anyway, playing and recording, for whatever reason, I could not get the final three to work, plus the landing on planets COC just didn't work. So it's going to have to be a case of... Again, as you can see, I've reloaded my previous save before the new game plus, so I'm going to have to go through the final, uh, the Crimson Fleet quest and the Free Star Rangers, I think, the Hammer Falls one is. So that's what I've got to do legit, which is, you know, it's fine. It's fine, you know, it is it is what it is. And then, of course, it's going to be the big one then, having to fly to all different solar systems. Now... It's easy, of course, but it is a bit of a grind. It should take, I'd say, no more than an hour, potentially, to do that. But in terms of those final two, then, now, you're also going to be going to all the solar systems anyway, so effectively, the landing on 100 planets should unlock anyway. Um, or what I highly advise doing is, as you can see, now, a couple of, couple of quick notes here. As you can see, the ones we visited are basically lit up. So Sol, Alpha, Centauri, they've all been lit up. The ones that are not lit up are the ones that we haven't visited. So just obviously be aware of that one. So we'll go to this luminous, uh, what's that, Lion's Rock, Lumen's Rock. Now, once we, you again, make sure to actually land on a planet, you don't actually have to get out of your ship, just as long as the ship has landed on a planet, then uh, you should be good to go. Now, obviously, there's, I think, 120 different solar systems to visit. But, obviously, as, you're, uh, as you should be well aware, once you have visited a solar system, there can be two or three different planets that you can actually land on, which all count towards your total as well. Um, again, it is going to be a little bit of a grind. I, again, I couldn't find any console commands that pro uh, properly worked in order to make it go faster and smoother. But that's all good. It's a nice little chilled ending-ish. If, you, if you're really into the grind, then that's awesome. Uh, so as you can see there, now because we visited Lumion's Rock or whatever that was just called, it's now lit up. One thing I should add though, now what you, what you are obviously going to see is once you have visited sort of one solar planet system, it will light up. But that doesn't mean it's complete. You have to visit sometime every for everyone that you look at. There may be two. There is also a triple 
planet um, that you have to visit as well. So just be aware of that. Um, but apart from that, yeah, it's pretty, pretty bang tidy. So as you can see there, with these two, we need to visit both Sirius and the pup. So even though we'll visit Sirius, it'll light up saying that we have visited it, but we have to visit the other one underneath as well. So just be aware of that one. Uh, otherwise, that is going to be that. It's taken me a while. It's taken me a long time. Even though it is all console commands and it's obviously a lot easier than doing it um, <laughs> legit. This has taken me quite a while to put together. Um, I, again, if there are things that sort of are all over the place and you feel like this guide is a bit okay at some points and a bit crappy at other points, totally understand. Um, I, again, I tried to put this in the sort of best way, in the best lore and order that I could. Um, having to find absolutely everything and trying to put it in, in a way that, you know still made you enjoy the game um, while making it obviously a lot easier for yourself. Again, you could have done this uh, either, you know, any way you wanted. Whether you wanted to just smash through all the main main missions with set stage and SQS, uh, whatever it is, but yes. Yeah, so there we go. So please let me know what you thought of the guide below, but that's going to be that. It is, like I said, it is Still a bit grindy, but nowhere near as 50, 60 hour grindy. So again, hopefully this has helped. Um, if you've enjoyed the game, if you've enjoyed the guide, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Please let me know what you think about this. I know it's going to piss some people off going, well, you just do it legitimately, man. I don't have that time anymore. It's taken me two weeks to put this baggering thing out. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much. And again, thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters, my YouTube members as well. Absolutely, really, really do appreciate it. So thank you so, so much, guys and gals. I will see you in the next Game Pass game. Big ol' love nuts!